Hey there, Wargamers, and welcome to today's Age of Sigmar Battle Report. Luca and Scar here from MiniWarGaming.com, and we will be playing 2,000 points of Sylvaneth against the Soul Blight Gravelords. We play and call it work. Mini War Gaming's Age of Sigmar Battle Report. Let's take a look at the Soul Blight list first. Uh, this is a list I've run in the past, though I've changed the focus completely from buffing zombies and pushing them forward to more a focus on the characters and the Blood Knights because I think that's going to work a little bit better in this new season of war. Now, our grand strategy will be a lust for domination. I have to control more of the grave sites on the battlefield than Skari does, and they're treated as objectives in such a manner. Uh, we have a, and our, well, we have a bloodthirsty triumph if we get it, but I don't think we will in this one. Now our general will be a vampire lord on a zombie dragon. He will have the pack alpha command trait naturally. He'll have a death lance that's upgraded to be the Sang Siron, so it's an extra d3 attack when he charges. Uh, we do get mount traits because of the old white dwarf from a few months back, so uh, fetid miasma, allowing him to reroll the wound rolls on his uh, breath attack. And then for spell, went with amaranthine orb and uh, he's got invigorating aura built in naturally. We have another character here, uh, Vangorian lord, and now I actually have it listed as Amaranthine Orb, but we're going to go with Spirit Gale on that one. I just didn't realize I doubled up on that, so if, it's, if it says that in the list down below, I apologize. We have a Necromancer that will have an Arcane Tome that will know Fading Vigor, and then a Necromancer that will know Decrepify. Now, I'm running the Vangorian Lord and the two Necromancers in a Warlord Battalion, because I do like that one quite a bit. And then, moving on to our battle line... We have a unit of Death Rattle Skeletons, and we have a pair of Dead Walker Zombies. None of this is reinforced. They're all Galatian veterans, and all three of them, because uh, they have to be, are going to fit into the Expert Conquerors Battalion. So they count as extra models, uh, and I'm going to try my best not to uh, let them get beat up too badly. We have a Corpse Cart with Unholy Lodestone. Trying this out, because I, I want to just run it for the plus one to cast to see how relevant it is for all my casters. And it can kind of help the Dead Walker Zombies out a little bit on one of the flanks. That will be the last part of the Warlord Battalion. And lastly, in a Bounty Hunters Battalion, we have three units of Blood Knights, none of them reinforced. And lastly, we have a Horror Ghast to fill out uh, the rest of our points here. I think Horror Ghast, excellent for Soulblight Gravelords. Uh, I want to try them out a few times before I really commit to that statement, though. But it's, uh, I think, a lot of fun these days. And that is it. I'm at 1990. Let's go take a look at the Sylvaneth list. Welcome to the Sylvaneth. You have all been asking for Elariel the Ever Queen to make an appearance. Therefore, I have brought Elariel the Ever Queen. Why? Because she's awesome. She's on riding a giant beetle. And Luca loves when I bring the big monsters. Right, Luca? That's all I know. There you go. So, Elariel the Ever Queen and a Tree Lord Ancient, who is my general with the Vesperal Gem and the Gnarled Warrior trait. He knows Throne of Vines and Verdant Blessing and Bolt and Shield, of course. Then we have 10 Tree Revenants, 2 units of 3 Kurnoth Hunters with Swords, and 10 Dryads. And by 10 Tree Revenants, I mean 5 Tree Revenants. Now, uh, both the Tree Revenants and the Dryads are in the Expert Conquerors Battalion, and the 2 units of Kurnoth Hunters with Swords are in the Bounty Hunters Battalion as well. To round out the list, bringing it to 2,000 points on the nose, I have a Glade Worm and a Spite Swarm. There you have it. It's a very elite army, but uh, let's uh, go kill some zombies again. And that means I get my bloodthirsty triumph. There you go. Well, <laughs> you know, I know you need any help you can get, Luca. Thank you. I know, I know. On to the mission. A new mission for both of us. Today, Skari and I will be playing head-on collision. I have yet to play this battle plan in this new season of Age of Sigmar, and I believe Skari's in the same boat. Now, what we have here is a search and destroy style deployment. In fact, it's exactly search and destroy because we will be deploying nine inches away from the enemy territory, which means there will be a radius of nine inches from that middle objective you see there. And each player's territory will have an objective in it. And then there'll be two very vacant uh, no man's land squares when you really think about it as well. Now, the twist to this one is deadly denizens. In this battle, objectives cannot be controlled in the first battle round, and players do not gain control of objectives after setup is complete. The way scoring will work will be uh, one if you control the one wholly in your territory, two victory points at the end of your turn if you control the one in the center, and then four if you can somehow take your opponents. In addition to that, you'll gain a victory point if you gain control in an objective that turn, and there are Galatian veterans within six of that objective. 
Following that, two for every battle tactic you complete, and then three for your grand strategy at the end of the game, and whoever has the most victory points after five rounds will be the winner. Hey, look, it's Scary. Whoa! Check out the new shirt that I got. Scodcast. There you go, it's nice, eh? Make sure you go check out Scary stuff over at Scodcast, where he talks a lot about Drukari, and right. many other things. You can also find great dad jokes, uh, fantastic <laughs> fake accents, and only downvotes. <laughs> Only downloads. Only downloads. Make sure you download this game for Scar. For Scar. Thank you very much. Easy. For playing along. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have our battle bat. It's very white. I wanted to go with like our Frozen North kind of uh, undead vibe today. I don't know. It's like one of the, the things I'm obsessed you're with. you're a cold hearted. Yes. I was going to say something that you can't Individual. Say on camera. Yes. Individual. <laughs> That's me. Uh, we have our battle mat here from Game Mat. This is one of those real fancy double sided mats. I got stuff on the corner. I can't really show it to you, but like, look at the screen on the other side. And I'm not going to return Breaking things see. already, Luca. I'll knock that over. Uh, GameMat.eu, they provide, obviously, this is a 44 by 60 inch battle mat. The rest of the physical terrain here is from Games Workshop as well as Adam at Greenleaf Terrain, uh, which is a hand-carved terrain by him. Go check him out over at Facebook. All of the links will be in the description below if you're curious to see uh, some of their stock and all they have available. And I would like to remind our Silver Vault members that you have access to a lot of discount codes for, you know, battle mats, game mat being one of them, uh, terrain companies, battle mat, game mat, sorry, uh, urban mat, table war, all that stuff are listed in there as well. And uh, you don't need to be a Silver Vault member to see it. You can, uh, but you do need to be a Silver Vault member to benefit from it. All you have to do is click on the link down below or uh, go to miniwargaming.com slash silver discount or go to the vault section on the website. You can go peruse that and save yourself a pretty penny, especially if you're gonna buy an entire set of terrain. That is definitely worth the upgrade there. Scary and I are gonna go ahead and figure out where we're deploying. One player will be there, one player will be over here. And uh, we'll show you what that looks like in but a second. And here we are, all deployed. My army took up less of a footprint than I thought it was going to take up. Uh, I won the roll off, I chose this side. I put my gray sites, one right there, one right there, because I want them close by, and I put one right in the middle, outside of my territory, technically, uh, right by the objective. Yeah. I should make it a little closer. I'll even put it like on top of the objective. No, let's put it right there, keep it cleaner. Uh, and then the other one, uh, it's, it's a little risky, because that's a free one for Scaria to take over, but if it forces him to keep something back there, because uh, I can just like pop up over there and grab the objective with the unit that uh, gets resurrected. I also put my skeletons in um, underground, so they're under one of the four grave sites to pop up at the end of a movement phase whenever I decree. We have zombies, one brick of 20 with the corpse card. And we have the other brick of zombies kind of all strung out here. They're going to uh, maintain that position to stop some nasty tree revenants from showing up, and there's not going to be a lot of room for them to fight in the front anyways. What like, have the tree revenants ever done to you? Too much flexibility. They must be punished, if possible. Well, that's true. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Vangorian Lord with Blood Dice and Blood Knights. I already talked about the Corpse Cart. This is the Necromancer with Decrepify. And this is the Necromancer with Fading Vigor and the one with Arcane Tome. The Arcane Tome over yonder. In fact, I think I technically swapped it up, but like whatever. I'll, I'll keep the, I'll keep, I'll remember I got little tokens there. Arcane Tome and Fading Vigor and Decrepify on his own. Uh, then we have our uh, Vampire Lord on Zombie Dragon, our general, and one unit of Blood Knights over here. And what do we got for you, Skari? Well, my army is incredibly elite because I'm spending like 1,200 points in two characters. So I've got uh, the Everqueen and my Tree Lord Ancient. The Tree Revenants back here, because there's a grave site, they know, they know there's a grave they're, site. They're playing the same game. You know. uh, we have two units of Hunters with Swords and the Dryads just screening out in case you decide to, because you out dropped me. I just want to make sure there was a screen there in case you put your zombie dragon right in the front in the middle so you couldn't just like run up at me. Um, right away, yeah. This is going to be an interesting mission because we get more points if we hold our opponent's objectives. So I'm looking forward to trying it. And this is the ongoing series of I play every mission in the book. <laughs> and uh, I actually don't know what mission. This is like mission like eight or nine. I have or no idea. It's, this it's is the next one that yeah. I haven't played yet. Absolutely, absolutely. So our aim is to play at least each mission one time and then kind of go through the cycle again as we get used to the different missions. Well. You definitely finished dropping before I did, as I had many drops. Who would you like to give priority to, or do you need to um, No, no, I think I'm going to give you priority. But before we start, I did oh, yes. designate this. Uh, this is an overgrown Blue feature. Market. That is my overgrown feature, and this uh, little, little hill is an overgrown feature, which are my three places of power. Uh, Kurnoth Hunters have a really cool rule where if they're wholly within six of an objective, that... Uh, other units count as within, uh, mm -hmm. wholly within an overgrown terrain feature. That's their like relay of the Everqueen rule. So they can turn objectives into overgrown terrain features basically. Okay. She can make every 
Um, once per game, she can make every piece of terrain on the battlefield an overgrain terrain feature. Right. Which That's rights of life could be really cool. Yeah. Um, and so I'm, I'm hoping to kind of use that, although you're already screening well because you know how I play, and you're going to make it very hard for me to bounce around the table at my leisure. However, I'm going to let you go first. You know, if I can, if you move up to aggressively and I double turn you, it'd be, it'd be a good time for me. So Correct. I'm looking forward to that. Fair. All right. Well, that, I... it is your soul blight. Huh. Turn one. I guess I have to ponder a battle tactic. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. You're very welcome. Turn one, baby. Two to three command points for me. I'll be like it. Own. Scary, of course, will be the enemy. All right, we're looking over the uh, battle tactics. They're all very difficult uh, to do right now. The There's like controlling territory, controlling a piece of terrain partially in your opponent's territory would be like the only reasonable one to do, but that's still like impossible to do for my army. Is I'd, I'd have to commit something a little too expensive to really make that reasonable. The only one really is like your terrain piece, but you have it completely surrounded in people, so. Uh, and like at this one technically is not in it. I would have loved it to be in it. So I had to watch for that one on Scar is probably gonna pick that one So I have to go defend it. Unfortunately, I don't love that um, But I won't be able to do a battle tactic I and mean, there's nothing I can do because you're not able to control objectives So the easiest one is against the odds But I have to be able to control the objective to, con to score that one and you can't control any objectives in the first battle round So I'm gonna pick one to burn. I think it's lust for power Unstoppable army, sorry, that's a Soul Blight Gravelord specific one. At the end of the turn, if I roll a five up to bring a unit back from the dead, uh, half the unit, then I would complete it. That one is uh, super unreliable. That one is more likely to happen on your opponent's turn in a lot of weird ways, uh, just because they usually commit to a lot of fighting and then like incidental incidental units might die here or there. Uh, well, I guess no, it's just as likely on your turn, but like, I'm not gonna be able to pull that one off. That one's too random. I can still roll a one and fail the battle tactic. Hate that. It's like score two points for rolling a two up even, then that, that could still fail. So I'm gonna burn that one, get that out of here. It's not one of the, yeah, it's one of the worst soul blade ones. The other ones are way more reasonable. So unfortunately, not gonna be able to do that battle tactic. We're gonna go right under the hero phase. Well, continue in the hero phase, technically. Yep. The roll for the Vangorian Lord's Madness on a one, because that's the current battle round number, he will succumb to it. Nope. If I have to roll every battle round uh, at the start of it, and uh, if I roll equal to or less than, he cannot issue commands, but he can run and charge. He can still cast magic, though. So we are going to go on to leadership on the Vangorian Lord, I suppose. We don't get it. Would you like to do something Um I will do... Um, or yeah, leadership. Because like, I can't I really do anything else. So I, I will go ahead and do it with Elario. Is he ever queen? Nice. Look at that. She, she knows what she's talking about. She's literally about. the leader of all life. She is the leader of all life. Uh, ba -ba -ba. And then that should be it for the start of the hero phase. We're going to go on to a few spells and stuff. Everything holy within 12 of the corpse carrier gets plus one to cast, and the vampires get to re-roll their casting rolls. So I think we're going to start this off with the Vangorian Lord, who knows the, who's, he can't do anything. He's probably going to cast uh, Arcane Bolt. Uh, we got it with uh, technically an eight. So how, let me just check how many. Okay, so I have four basically unbinds here. Alaria does three and you, uh, so, Yeah, so yeah. she has three, she has one, so four. You have four costs here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to stop it. I need to roll an eight. Uh, I think it, well, that won't do it. <laughs> that definitely doesn't work. Not quite close. I want to get that out of the way now. Good. I just want to say that. That's, a, that's that two ones to the one pool for the average <laughs> dice at the end of the that's game. That's right. Not a bad spot for it. So we have a Mystic Shield on the... That was an Arcane Bolt. That was an Arcane Bolt. We have an Arcane Bolt on the Vangorian Lord, casting it himself. We are going to have this Necromancer cast... Von Hell's Dance Macabre, I suppose. We got it with uh, an eight as well. I will attempt to stop it, needing a, oh, it's plus one, that's so a nine. No, not so by one. Close. This does probably, yeah, that's plus, uh, yep. wholly within 12 plus one. So they, uh, the zombies will be able to file in, pile in a fight twice in the, the next combat phase yep. coming up, including Ascari's turn. And on to the, the, the Necromancer, you're gonna cast uh, Mystic Shield, or attempt to. Uh, we got it with a seven. Okay, I will attempt to unbind this or dispel, and I can, I believe, re-roll one. And I'm thanks dwindling. to the dwindling, which is my season, I get to. Ooh, oh, dang! Nice. No, that's Mystic the only one I cared about. That's the only one you cared to stop. I assume. <laughs> I as well. just, that's right. Yeah. Hence, hence why I save the re-roll for something special. And then the vampire lord back here will not be casting anything because he has nothing really to cast right now. Let's throw that on him to show he's got a bolt he can throw out. Um, and then we're gonna go on to movement. I'm gonna show you where everything ends up. It's not gonna be very exciting. And uh, that'll be the end of my turn. We're right, scoring no victory points, pretty much. And uh, that was a much more complicated movement phase than I thought, because I kind of realized uh, halfway through it as the mission worked, as uh, you gain victory points if you 
Bonus. Takes it's like a bonus point. A bonus point if you take an objective on your turn with Galatian veterans. Now, hypothetically... If you take an objective on your turn and there happen to be Galatian, Galatian vet veterans within six, six. inches. That's but you have to point. Con Contr gain control of the objective on that turn. Which means you had to leave the objective. And not get within six of because that Because if I double yeah. turn you... It means that I would you would it. control it at the end of your turn, my turn, which Thus, then would lose you a point. Basically. Correct. So, so you're like running away from this yep. objective to then get on it to hopefully offset the fact that you didn't get a battle tag. And there's no there's no hold more than your opponent. So I don't have to worry about Scarry getting a double turn, getting bonus points because yep. I moved off them. So we also decided this piece of terrain is in no one's territory. Right. Because it was like millimeters in mine. I'm like, ah, correct. crap. So I have it's, to move my whole force up there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Typically better to play with like symmetrical terrain. And then this wall we decided is in no one's. This wall is not a terrain feature for like. Like rules of like Because it's sword. All technically one piece. It's technically in my territory and in Scaria's territory, but we're going to play it like it's negative four to go up and down unless you have fly naturally. You have to climb up and over the wall all the same. Uh, and then, yeah, that's that. Uh, if anyone's curious what, what we changed up there. So anyways, uh, I have no models within six of that objective, and I have no models within six of that objective. No morale to do, no shooting to do. Uh, they had to doubled with uh, Pack Alpha when they went, they were the first thing to move just to spread out and push stuff over in that direction. And uh, yeah, we did it, we're done. That's uh, no battle tactic points, no primary scoring points, nothing. I'm gonna see what Scarry can do on his turn because uh, mine was a little rough there. So I can no longer do that one uh, battle tactic. Figured I'd burn it. And then uh, good luck to you on your turn, I suppose. Thank you, I believe. Oh, now they've just used command points, so no surprise, three to four. Do you know what the plan is? Yes, so my battle tactic will be one of the Sylvaneth ones. Mm. Uh, charge with a unit that has either teleported or will teleport. You might as well go for it, right? That's, that'll get, that's a two-point lead right there. Yeah, if yeah. I can, that'll just put me on the driving seat of this mission. Then I'm going to do much like Luca did and run away from the objectives. What a weird concept. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to commit to It'll the middle. It'll be interesting. Yeah. You know, I might... I might um, I might send something into the middle, but we'll see. We'll see. I am going to be doing an inspired uh, Hero, leadership, inspired heroic hero. leadership from Alerial the Epic Queen. Oh, look at that again. I'll try it again with the Very Vangorian nice. Lord. Very nice. He's ready this time. What? He, he hasn't ready. gone crazy yet? No, no, Madness. no. Not quite. Uh, also, uh, we didn't mention on camera, we talked about off camera. Scarry was second in the battleground, so he chose this as the proving ground. I did. Just Even though you can't control it, apparently you can still make it a proving ground. Yes. Interesting. Uh, just to burn it later, so I don't. So you don't have to worry about contesting with anything but the stuff you have. I in know your as game. soon as you go second, you're gonna make this one my proving He's, ground, yeah, exactly. so that we can then fight over them later in the game. Correct. And this will be the wild card, I find. That that that's exactly what the outcome yeah. here is gonna be. Okay, well, be. makes sense for your battle tactic. Heroic action makes sense. We're all done. That. What do you want to do for spells? Okay, so Vespul Gem, I'm gonna use right away. Ooh, fair. Um, so uh, one of the spells that he knows from the um, Sylvaneth tree, which will be Throne of Vines will go off without having to roll, and you can't unbind it. That's a good start. Yeah. And then I roll the dice on a one, I take D3 mortal wounds. But the effect of that spell is at the end of every phase, the Tree Lord Ancient will heal a wound. Okay. Is it, does this still stack like it did in the old book? It's not the same spell anymore. Now it's a healing spell. So oh. Throne of Vines is at the end of every like phase. phase. Oh, every neat. phase just heals a wound. What, d if, does it end if he moves? Nope. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's just. Can I never get rid of it now? Uh, you know. Oh, oh, but it, it, it goes away at the your next hero phase, I assume. Correct. Okay. okay. So if so, it's basically just end it. So now let's see if I take some mortal wounds. Good luck. That's the only downside is if I roll a one, I take D three mortals. But now my. Oh, this isn't a once per game roll. It gives it. Ew. Oh, excellent. <laughs> so he just heals a bunch whenever you want. Nice. Correct. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> he's just gonna heal constantly for the rest of the game <laughs> until you kill him. <laughs> Fascinating. I can't do anything. And then his uh, and his. Um, um, trait, his command trait, is um, Gnarled Warrior, so he ignores all rend. All, all modifiers, positive and negative, to his armor save. He's got base three up. He's got a three up save, and he's gonna heal a wound at the end of every phase. I'm testing it out to just see okay. how, like, tanky. Like, he's not gonna kill much, but I'm just, you know. I I'm see what's up. See, yeah, let's yeah. yeah, see what happens. Okay, so that's his spell. She gets three spells. And she's the lore master of the Sylvaneth Lord. Super lore master. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Look at those eyes. See, who, yeah. see what I have access to. I'm going to open up with Metamorphosis. Uh, just within 16 of those zombies. I was a fool and moved in range. Uh, okay, so it needs a seven. Okay, went off with a nine. I might as well try and stop it. I'll use... Uh, and by nine, I mean eight. Went off with an eight. I'll use Necromancer. Needing a nine to stop it. That's not even close. Okay, so then I roll... Nine dice. Oof. 
Ooh. So eight dice, which is the casting roll, and on a three plus, you take mortals for every three. Nice. Okay, That's not bad. Six mortals. This unit of zombies is wholly within 12 of that necromancer, so six up ward. I lose four zombies. Nice. Four zombies. Wow. The slow, methodical destruction of the zombies begins. Let's try that, I suppose. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and try and cast the Spite Swarm Hive with the Ever Queen. Ah, that's good roll. On a 10. That's bonus of charges, isn't it? It is. Mm. Well, I'm gonna try and stop that as well. I need an 11. That doesn't make sense. Oh, I box card. Oh. I got one more. I combined. wanted the Spice Worm Swipe. I was lucky, I was so lucky much. I stopped that. He stopped my Mystic Shield. I <laughs> am gonna go ahead for a Mystic Shield yeah, as right. well. A and seven, it will eight. go off on a seven. Uh, that's the last spell? That's my last one. Mm, well, I got my one more uh, unbind there. I like it. Uh, that's a seven. Nope, not good enough. Excellent. So okay. the movement phase now. So movement, I'm, oh. I'm so upset that you took away my hive. <laughs> I got lucky. I got really lucky on that one. I might mean that. Uh, I'm I just so didn't have sad. I'm so, so sad. So we're going to show you where everything uh, ends up because Scarry's going to do some weird stuff, I assume. Yeah, it's not going to be too crazy. I'm just going to set up just in case I do get a double turn. I'm okay. essentially going to make buzz, sure buzz. that I can. And then I'm probably going to... Um, I might summon, like... You took my Mystic Shield marker, you monster. <laughs> you monster, that's mine. <laughs> Fine. Same thing as you. The same tactical stuff. You're going to not be I'm on gonna, the objective. I'm just going to move away from the objective because we're so, we're, t we're tactical geniuses, Luca. Tactical. Tactical geniuses. Absolutely. Revenants move back, the Tree oh, Lord Ancient. No, I don't want to be that close. I have to be... Oh, you got to be more than six away from the objective. Yeah, so he's going to teleport from the Wildwood there to this place, this overgrown piece of terrain. Correct. Bloop, bloop, bloop. So going from one to the other, but not he can being do that every six. turn. And it's that's in that's his spirit pathy thing. I believe he can do that. These Kurnoth Hunters are going to run. I'm just going to make sure that I block off this... Uh, Ah! My gravesite. Yeah, yeah that's, why, that's why he's living a stupid train everywhere, man. Everything's I wish cool. I could, like, stomp on a gravesite. And just... Ha, ha, no, that's right. No, get out of here, man. It's not a piece of train. It's a marker. <laughs> I know. Okay, they're going to use... So that tree lord used his little ability. And they're they're going to use the, ones the regular normal ability. To try and scrap. To try and get in. Now I have to roll a hard nine, though, which always, is... They can, I assume they're elite. Actually, oh, no, they have their own champion. I'm not going to do that there. I'm going to do it on this side. I just want our, want our big units to fight. Well, no, it just means that if um, if they fail this charge, there's only one unit that can deal with them instead of like four units yeah. that can deal with them. So at least it gives them a fighting chance to survive, basically. I'm, I'm just trying to... Okay, um, with that, I think I have some... So they're outside of six inches. I've blocked off this little area, so you can't use this grave site. Um, and I've moved Elarial. Do I want to bring in a unit of Kurnoth Hunters? Oh yeah, her summoning. She once per game summoned a Yeah, I could do various. 20 Dryads, I could do Kurnoth Hunters, I could do Bows, I could do a variety of different things. Uh, and I'm not really sure which one. I think I'm just gonna bring in a bunch of some Scythes. All right. Um, I think I'm just gonna, cause there's like, you know, I might as well, you've got, they're Ren 3, they're, yeah. I, I got a pretty high armor army. Uh, minus the zombies, of course, naturally, but yeah. every all the other threats have uh, three up saves. Yeah, so, so I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm probably going to do that. Yeah, so I'm going to bring in some scythes, I think. I'm going to show you where they end up then. There we go. Three scythes okay. showing up. And that's our once per game ability, so I got to deal with them now on that flank. Yep. It's Great. An exciting time. Uh, so with that, I believe we're going to go into some shooting. Oh, got a couple units to shoot with. She throws a spear, and that guy shoots a nasty tentacle staff. Yeah, so we'll do the we'll do both. Uh, well, actually, we'll start with the tentacle staff at that unit of uh, of uh, knights. Now, how do they change their profile on this bad boy? So the profile is as follows. We have a uh, hits on twos, wounds on threes, rend one, three damage, and it's two attacks. Oh, I used to only one attack d6 damage. And then what's the Spear of Kurnoth? I so gotta that what does, that's Rend 2, 24 inches, 2s and 2s, 6 damage, I, see, I, I believe. Hmm. Yes, Rend 2, 2s and 2s, 1 attack, 24, 6 straight damage. All right, well, I'll let you uh, go ahead and fire this one. Okay, then, yeah. so here you go. Anything, so it'd yeah. be 2s, 4, okay. Both hit. Uh, 1 wound, set Rend 1. Against them, so they have Against a 4 up save. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They make it. Nice. Excellent. That and was then... a smart play there. And then the Kurnoth Super Bow. How many wounds on the little the little guy? Uh, the corpse card? Yes. Yeah. Good question. I'm going to go with the Spear of Kurnoth. I'm just going to shoot your little corpse card. Uh, I'm going to double check if it gives itself bonus one to its save. I think it's like, it might. Yeah, it's only Deadwalker Zombies that uh, buffs up, so uh, but it's Ren 2, right? 
Yep. Oh, no point in all the defense. All right, cool. whiff. Does it hit? <laughs> does it wound? It does. Nice. It's six damage? That's right. All right, well, I will do. Will you make a deathless minion save, or will I remove your plus one to cost? Oh, oh. one wound remaining. Ooh. Ooh, barely hanging on. Hey, Does you know what? It was barely hanging on to begin with. That well, that's remaining. all I have for that. So I guess we'll go into charging. Some charging. Right. I have uh, a charge that I really need to try and make here. Nine up, and you have four to victory available. That's right. Oh, okay. Command point. Let's do this. I have a reroll. Will I get two free points? No, no, not, not today. Quite. Looks like shame. nobody gets any points in the first battle round of this Correct. game. What a weird mission. It All is. right. Uh, well, that's uh, time for priority roll. That's right. Where I, oh, I got to do a, technically they have a battle shock. They can't fail it because they lost four models. Yep. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, and then, uh, there yep. you go. Excellent. Oh, oh five? five. A two. Ooh. I will take the turn. All right. So Thank you, my good sir. Fair. I will definitely take the turn. And we go on to turn two, Sylvanoak. I'm trying to think if there's worth picking a proving ground this turn. Because I think, because no matter what, you can just put Galician veterans on it. Yep. Or put Galician veterans over there. And this one's already been chosen. I'm going to say that one's a proving ground, anyways. Okay. Uh, just because uh, I might be able to counterattack it well enough. Maybe, maybe we'll see. This one is a proving ground. That'll so be the you're proving forcing ground. me to put Galicians on it if I want to. And me as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Alrighty, that'll be it. Okay. All right, well, I'm at three command points, and Scar is down to two. When do you... I thought Undeniable Impulse will start a battle round. It's actually started my hero phase, so he is... Uh, he's still good to issue orders and everything right now, which like is it. A, ideal. It's an exciting... I guess, I guess it's a bad enough rule as is, so mm -hmm. uh, don't need to be punished super hard for it. Okay, cool. So, battle tactic. I'm going to take this objective. That's what I wanted to do on my turn, but I couldn't, because the mission's uh, yeah. And uh, have no enemy Galician veterans contesting it. Huh, fair. Okay, yeah. easy enough. And I'm, if I need to pick a unit, it'll be these tree reference. They're going to just... Hop on, give me the easiest two points in my life. I thought this was going to be easy two points, but then you rolled boxcars to stop me from getting my spite swarm, <laughs> and I failed the rerollable charge. <sighs> tight game so far, though. Yes, that's tight, right. Tight game. Not I bad. am going to once again use the Vesperal Gem oh, yes. on the Tree Lord Ancient. Does it take mortal wounds? Does he take mortal wounds? No, nope. not yet. Completely fine. Yeah, Throwing a vine's active, and that's yeah, it's every phase on my turn as well. Eh? So I feel that, that's a lot of healing. <laughs> it's <laughs> a, a lot of healing. It's charge phase, hero phase, morale phase, like break, yeah. like everything. Yeah. Awesome. All the phases. I love it. Yeah. It's, nine it's a cast nine now? cast. That's, that's why it works with the Vesperal Gem. Like only. I guess reliable. it'd be really, really good. Uh, Galaria heals a ton already, so you just yeah, be but, like. But she's something. like she doesn't have any bonuses to cast, right? That's, so, a, that's so. a nine to cast. Yeah. It's That's not. insane. It's crazy. It's, insane. it's very, very crazy. Okay, oh. so I'm going to go ahead and cast some spells with Ilarial. Uh, oh, sorry. Heroic action. I'm going to oh, give yeah. Ilarial um, a... Uh, Command point. Command point. Four oh, plus. look at that. Third time in a row. Uh, I'm going to try with that Necromancer, I think, on a four plus. Yep. No, not quite. Okay. Uh, and then, oh yeah, this is the Arcane Bolt that goes away now. Nice. I want to take my Mystic Shield marker back. You want? So you already, you already gave it to me. Nice. I might use. There's it. nothing within twelve of him. That's why I didn't use it. First, I'm going to cast called Dwellers Below. Fascinating. Which is why I ended up within twelve of the zombies. Um, it goes off on a seven. That's uh, a ten. That's a ten. I will roll a dice for every model in your unit. On a five plus, you'll take mortals. Hmm. I might as well try to deny it. I have all three in range, so would you got a 10, eh? You need an 11 on the fire necromancer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Will you roll? Ooh, close. No so cigars, though. Get your high <laughs> unbind rolls out of this room, Luca. There are 16 models remaining in that unit. Excellent. Some of your own kind of weird zombies. 16 on fives. Weird earth spirits. Ah, uh, that's a... Uh, Two. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, we haven't moved, so we have the uh, minion. We take a, we lose the zombie. Oh, good job. Let that was, that was, uh, you know, a great, work. great amount of setup for a lot of payoff. Go. She's going to go ahead and do her spell. Metamorphosis. Eve. Metamorphosis. She's going to actually cast it on. Oh, my cart! The little cart. Yeah. Does it go off? It does on an eight. I'll try that with uh, the Vangorian Lord. Like it. No, that's a four. Okay. Or well, even if I be... that's an eight at most, yeah, so can't get exactly. it. Exactly. Oh boy, so here so comes eight the... three ups. Uh, this should be relatively easy to destroy. And you've done it. Well, I mean, okay. I have. I'll you roll two your, dice. Yeah. You got it! <laughs> Hooray! All right, corpse cart. I also get to put a free tree down. Ooh. Excellent. That's really good, actually. Should I leave it where it was? Does that matter? <laughs> uh, I just have to put it, basically. 
Does have to be more than three away from you. I'll, I'll just, I'll yeah. check. Well, that worked out perfectly. Ha -ha. It has to grow wholly within 12 of the model destroyed, but more than three away from all my stuff. But I had, I had to move off the objective on the previous turn. So there's a giant hole in the middle of my army. <laughs> the pacing for the Soul Blade Grave Lord is all off on this one. I love it. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and do Mystic Shield on her, just in case you double turn me and somehow, like, do some crazy damage on her. Might as well try. I need a nine. An eight. That is a ten. Oh, Ooh, no oh, shield. My goodness. Interesting. You've been, you Was that Necromancer <clears throat> right there? Good job, buddy with that that's it for my hero face we're over to movement yeah i'm just gonna i'll start with something like this yeah i mean i don't know if i want to even redeploy i don't even know if redeploying off that helps me in any way shape or form. let me let me think about that yep i actually have no idea like what like i'm gonna get hammered somewhere pretty bad and like i don't really want to lose those blood knights too bad but even a redeploy over there isn't like guaranteed uh because it depends on um the distance of that charge currently it's a four inch charge uh Things are gonna go to the middle here. The wall makes things kind of weird here, but I, I lined up in a way that all you have to do is charge the wall to hit the zombies, because I don't wanna I don't wanna try and manipulate it so that uh, you can't charge them kind of thing. So them getting redeployed won't help too. In fact, that'll just make it janky, so I'm, I want them to stay there. So we're gonna redeploy the Blood Knights, I guess. Uh, they are gonna order that to themselves with the Castellan. Cool. They're gonna move an additional four inches. I'll nice. be down to two command points. You're gonna try and go straight back with these guys. Boop, boop. And these guys are gonna go sideways. Just moving back, uh, maybe keep this flank a little bit stronger and then reinforce something later on. I like it. Those trees, right? Yeah. They're gonna, these guys are gonna move up. Bloop. And the trees is like breachable from 40k, like anything move through them so they don't like hinder movement so heavily. But yeah. they just kind of look cool. Well, it, it's, a, it's a rule that would make sense to have in the uh, That's the only weakness Age of Sigmar has right now, it's got lacking terrain rules, and I'm sure everyone would universally agree with that one. I would agree with that as well. And then, uh, boop, boop, boop. but other than that, the game's pretty amazing. So <laughs> it's like, hey, hey, what up? Yeah, I figured you're gonna come over here, but like redeploying over here is just a hot mess. So I'd rather just like keep my coherency where I am, and uh, just hope for the best, I suppose. Be Beetlefly is okay. there. So basically, got as many as I can into range of that objective there. More importantly, the Galician veterans are on it as well. Correct, which is because the one in the middle is two points for holding it. Correct. So I want to try and hold it now. I might as well, and then I'll get a bonus point for holding one with the Galician veterans. They're going to essentially. Teleport from there into over here. This little uh, overgrown terrain feature. Give me a, another nine-inch charge. You know, might, might, might as, as well. Right? Might as well try. Uh, we've got a couple of different things going. He moved up a little bit. Got a nice little charge on there. They're gonna try and sidestep and go potentially kill some zombies. I'm gonna try and maybe hand of dust your vampire. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> well, there's a couple of uh, things, and I'm just very, very happy that this tree is there. Like yeah. that's if anything that is. The thing that I'm the most happy about. This right has now. the potential to be like a perfect Sylvaneth game. Like without the way the pacing worked out, it's funny enough. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see how the turn goes. Okay. I like it. So I do have some shooting. Yes. Um, so I will begin with how many wounds on him? I'm gonna start with her super spear at him. That's flat six damage, eh? Yep. Uh, he is gonna all out defense yep. for a command point. Makes sense. He'll order that to himself because he's not insane, which is nice. And then uh, where's that? Okay, so twos. And twos. Four up. Ren two. Oh. Just straight six damage. That's pow, pow. That's a real bad start. Okay. Oh, we take four. Nice. Okay. Uh, then we're gonna go ahead. You know what? I might as well focus my fire. I'm gonna try. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. He's gonna go ahead and shoot as well. Hits on twos. Wounds on threes, I think. There you go. One. Uh, only Ren one. Uh, so three up. Yeah. We make that one. Good. Nice. Okay. They're gonna just try to get into those on. Well, they're gonna roll, see yeah, how gonna, far they roll. They're gonna beat that's, us in that's zombies. That's how Age of Sigmar works, right? Oh, that's seven. That's seven. So they charge in. Again, the zombies are close enough to the fence, so you just charge the fence to attack the zombies. No hiding behind nasty terrain. Okay. Rules are already hard enough on terrain. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try and make this eight inch charge. I think that's the one of the more important ones. Ah. Uh, oh, didn't they even care did, about they the They definitely made it. So I'm very, very excited about that. Welcome. Now we're going to go with these hunters over here. Let's see if they can strike from the Ooh, shadows. Oh, also a 10. Very, Good. very nice. Okay. I don't know what their reach is, but they're going to get in and try not to block the way for the Tree Lord Ancient. Elerial yep. uh, the Ever Queen will attempt to jump in as well. Oh, wow. Everyone, everyone's eager to go today. Okay. Well, let's just. Go Hello. Over here. Okay, something like that. Might as well. She doesn't do impact hits. She does like uh, a better. She, she has a better stomp. Gotcha. Basically, yeah. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try and get this tree lord ancient in. 
Oh my goodness! <laughs> <gracious>. <laughs> it's eager to go. It's, it, this would be Whoop. a definitive turn. Well, we're already into scrapping every, every, everything everywhere. So okay, okay, I'm okay with that. That's uh, mm. that actually worked out. Um, oh shoot! Um, he would be one of my targets. Sorry, and then uh, he would have been my other. And then I'm going to randomize one of these three because I get plus one to hit against three of the units in your army. I see, so my it's two main my characters and thing. Yeah, so, so I would have one, done it in two, your characters. Yep. So do one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so one, those... two. Oh, nice, that worked out perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> so you get plus one hit my they characters. They just happened to be deployed here because you had hid them and then I went to get them, makes sense. Huh. Yeah. All right, well you get your monster stuff first. Do you have um, two of them? I got one. Yeah, I'm going to do my monster stuff. Uh, is there, yeah, they've got high reach, so there's pretty much no way you can stop them from doing anything there. So I, is he a cavalry or a monster? He's a monster. He is a monster. Okay, so I can't, I can't stomp on him. But I am going to go ahead, him. I'm going to go ahead and stomp on, on them. All right, two up. Uh, uh, oh, apparently not. Yeah, okay. they're, they're evasive. They did. Or they, you're, they or you're too ponderous. One of the two. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead, uh, what's his combat stats? Uh, so he's very random, uh, but he's not bad. So I'm gonna ground stomp him uh, on, and basically try and make you fight last. All right. On a three plus. You yeah. do? So he will fight last. I'm going to do his, I'm gonna try a roar. Okay. I do. Uh, a Lariel. No, no command abilities on a Lariel. Okay. All right, then we're done our monster for eight pages. Nice. I like it. I, lo <laughs> I love that there's no um, this uh, is there's no like veterans that like that are the hunters in hunters of our land. Yeah. So like your monsters, they don't really interact with the missions, but their those rampages, rampages are, are actually really yeah. neat. Really well, awesome. this this new season sees a lot of uh, cavalry play, or at least monstrous infantry play now that aren't Galician. Good things that aren't Galician veterans that are great bounty hunters. Yeah. And then obviously you're forced to take Galician veterans in a lot of regards. Yeah. And then now you have monsters have a, a weird like niche in the meta as well. It's actually perfect. It's like a good synergy all around. And then there's that missile stuff too because people love shooting stuff. Anyways. Okay, so I believe I am gonna go ahead and start with them over here. Um, so it's pile in first, then attack. When do I, I order them to all out attack after the pile? Uh, good question. But there's no point in all attack. <laughs> yeah, they're one of the I'm, chosen targets. They're one of the chosen. So I'm just gonna- Are they within in. range of the thing to disappear? They definitely are. Okay, understood. Strike and fade. Excellent. So Locking they got four attacks each, plus one for the champion. They're going to hit on twos against you, I and they're rend minus one. Uh, they are two damage, but sixes to hit just do mortal wounds. Understood. I'm not going to bother with any uh, defense on them. Okay. I'm going to try and save this safe base on this guy as much as I can. Okay, so here we go. Hitting on twos, sixes do two mortal wounds. Oh my goodness. Are they instead of the normal damage? Instead of the I damage, see. I okay. believe. So that'd be eight mortals. And five hit. Two wound on threes. These are rend one. So that'd be So these are four up saves. Okay, good nice. thing I did the defense didn't matter at all, so that's going to be a total of 10 damage ten on them, damage. however. If you're near a gravesite and a character, uh, and we have a banner, we get to re-roll any ones. So we take four damage so far. Yep. Uh, we take eight damage, which is going to kill two of them. So nice. that's going to kill, well, these two, I suppose. And then there's still two more wounds to allocate, so that'll go on that model there. And then because they're wholly within nine of this piece of terrain, they are out of here. They are, so they're going to use this piece of terrain to disappear. Boop. Bye bye. And they will arrive from this piece of terrain. Hello. Over here. Well, I love that mechanic, and they're going to use this overgrown terrain feature to show up over here. Uh, the only unit I can pick are the zombies or the blood knights because the Vangorian Lord is striking last. I'll probably just go with the blood knights because of why not? Only three of them are attacking, though. The zombies aren't going to do much, realistically. They're not here. I don't have Crimson Feast to really buff them up, and the plus one of wound because of the the Virko's Dynasty thing is crap. So it I'll go with the Blood Knights, get a, a little bit of damage in here. Uh, we're going to put, it uh, looks like, one onto the Kurnoff Hunters, and then two, including the Castellan, into the Tree Lord Ancient. We piled in a little bit, figured it out. We're going to put two onto the Kurnoff Hunters, one onto the Tree Lord Ancient. Well, one being the Castellan. Uh, the Castellan first, threes to hit. So we got two hits. Uh, we have a pair of wounds as well. At, you don't care about the rent, so just your three up saves or one damage each. Oh, I might this well is the, into the Tree Lord? This is the Tree Lord. Might as well do the horse, of course. Two more saves. Or one more save. Just three saves. Three saves Three saves in total? or Just three in total, and they're all three ups. Yeah. Three ups, yep. Uh, I do a damage. Takes but you're going to heal damage. it. There's no point in putting it on. Right. There's the other guy there that could fight So I'm just well. going to... He's taken one so far. And, and then we have the me to deal that way. six attacks into the Hunters. Right, so we're going to roll the attacks against them on threes. We have one miss and nice. threes to wound. Uh, it's going to be three at Ren 1. Okay. Uh, they do have a three up save, so it goes to four. I do so one damage. One damage. And we got the six horse attacks as well. These are fours and fours with the nightmares, the hooves. Okay, 
and we do one more wound. Any rend on these? No. Okay, three up. No. Nope. So one's down to four wounds remain. That's all they have. Move over to the Kernel Hunters. Hunters. Yeah. So I'm going to slide across, basically. They've got a high reach so they can punch you over these things, which is kind of neat. Yes. Yeah, so those guys are on the fence there, so this guy just okay. equal distance to there, and they're all equal distance to the other guys over there, kind of, too. Oh, the same unit. Equal distance is a whole unit in general. Kind of a weird one, but it works. Stupid the defenses make the game difficult. I'm going to spend one of my command points for an all-out attack here. Ooh, you're down to one. So I will be hitting on twos against the zombies. Well, this will probably be the end of the zombies. So hitting on twos. Twos. Oh, okay. okay. Some misses, but it helps with one. Wound on threes. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. That's ten deathless minions, which okay. we'll ignore one of, and that means nine zombies die. I'm going to pull from this way. Leaving that little brick of zombies. I right. was hoping that you'd take them, the ones close to your necromancer, so I could go punch, <laughs> punch your necromancer. Oh, thank you. Yeah, but you are you are a smart cookie, Luca. You know <laughs> what you're doing. So. I'd rather keep my necromancer. Fight one of my zombies. Uh, they are going to do just that. They're going to uh, pile into Lariel here, I suppose. Yep. Who burns? I guess they get to attack from a little bit further away. Elysian veterans. That would be five attacks into a L'Oreal. Um Hitting on fives. Six attacks, huh? There's six of them there? Oh, there's six of them there. You're right. Yeah. Does drop die. Ha ha! Nothing. Eh, done. Cool. Three Two lanes just going to go. Uh, it's, he's just going to basically sidestep like this. Ba -ba 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 -ba, swing around and do that. Ta-da! And he's going to punch your commander guy. Leader man? Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. gonna all out defense himself. Cool. I was, uh, that will be, ah, if he's within range of pack alpha. He's only within 18 for pack alpha, so he'll get the all out defense for free there. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. And then, yeah, that's it there. I was very, you know what? We'll see how this dice roll goes. <laughs> right, so this is the sweeping blows. Hitting on twos because you're, that's I one of my targets, targeted yep. units. It mattered. Cool. And wounding on threes. These are rend one. So one at rend one, two damage. Now he does have the Miasma, reduces all your run by one. So oh, it'd so be run zero. So just a straight up two up save? Yes. Ooh, very yes. nice. Uh, what's the, so how many was the fourth? This is, this one went through. Oh. Yeah, just one. Okay. Okay. And the talents. So this is twos and twos. Okay. Sure. We'll, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it. I have no more uh, legal targets to fight with everything. <laughs> I, uh, like I think the neck, I don't know, maybe the necromancer's within three. I, I hope not. <laughs> He's supposed to not be. Ah, he is. I put him too far forward. Try, you always, if you play, so keep your necromancer three inches from the front of the zombies. That's my bad. Uh, I'm not going to pile in with him though. Yep. Uh, that is, uh, I'm going to elect him to fight and not move. Okay, then I will go ahead and fight with the Kurnoth, uh, these Kurnoth hunters. Hello. Essentially just going to, I don't know. Yeah, can I squeeze one in there? These guys are only one inch reach. Are these? Two or three? Those are two. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, yeah, they always had longer reach, a better rend. Yeah. But they had like more attacks. They're all able to attack, so it's easy. To, uh, yeah, it's easy enough to get them mm -hmm. within an inch. They're not calculation veterans, but they don't two. need Two. I'm looking for sixes here. Yes. Needing threes. Sixes yeah. do morals. You got a pair. Not bad. Yes. Uh, this is not the plus one to hit unit, that's right. No. Nope. And they need threes to wound. Just Ooh. two. But four mortals. That's right. Near the miasma of yep. the Vangorian Lord, so I get my saps. Oh, yeah. I get my Good. regular saps. So just the four mortals. Oh, I'll just roll this twice. I take, uh, reroll that. Yep. I take four damage. We'll finish off one and put a wound on the one in the back. Wounds left. Okay. Then there was, that's because they, to get all their attacks, they had to get within three of the Mangorian Lord. Uh, Elariel's just gonna try hit him with everything. All right, fair enough. So I'm gonna start with the Talon of Dwindling. Oof. Hitting on twos because uh, you're one of my chosen targets. <sighs> <laughs> Wounding on fours. No. Oh. Then we're gonna go ahead and do the Great Antlers, hitting on twos. Okay, that's better. Good Wounding start. on twos. So that'd be four, normally rend one. Oh, rend I mean, rend two, sorry. Rend oh, two. so down to rend one. Yeah. Uh, four of them, four of them. Four of them? Oh yeah, four of them. Yeah. Four of them, rend one. So he's down to a uh, four up save, but he's got plus one, he's to three up. Okay. Uh, okay. That would be 15 damage. Okay, so that, how much are these normally? Five each? Five each. Okay, so that was 10 damage there. So I was kicking myself in the butt because you stopped my Mystic Shield and got the double turn. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to be like negative one rend plus two or three to a save, making him very hard to get rid so of. So like a two up save. He's like always thing. a two up save essentially, yeah. but the only way you really get him is more wounds. However, and once, and then this is the only time him not doing the uh, best day ever, the, uh, um, what is it? The, <laughs> the uh, uh, to get the finest hour, moves. finest yeah. hour first. I was debating strongly on finest hour this turn, but I needed the command point as well. And I figured, okay, not too bad. The antlers is what I'm worried about. So the 10 damage here, he wouldn't have survived. So it didn't really matter. Yeah, he would have. Oh. That's three so far. 
Yeah, he would have died. Okay. So he would have died. The two didn't matter there, luckily. So I was kind of kicking myself in the butt. Unfortunately, he goes down. That's a pretty important part of my puzzle. And uh, I got the rough. puzzle, yeah. which, uh, which is good because that actually helps me with my rend now, which will Correct. be really useful yeah. as well. That's a step and, in the uh, wrong direction. And it forces your dragon now to kind of come in. And However, I was hoping to kill these zombies, um, you know, but yeah, that's, it is what it is. Okay, so, well, that's it for my fight phase. End the combat phase, Throne of Vines, uh, he heals up. And then my hunters that are still in combat with your, with your... Uh, the Blood Knights. The Blood, oh, Blood Knights. I love Blood Knights so much. They're such a cool unit. Yeah. Uh, so it's Trample Underfoot, pick a enemy unit within one inch, and for each dice in my unit on a four plus, you take for each dice for each model. So four pluses, you take additional models. So that'd be two more mortals from them stomping you. Uh, I take both. That does finish up another blood okay. knight, unfortunately. Good. Stompy stomp. Then they did pile in. They have a rule if I pile near the Kurnoth Hunters to take a mortal wound. That's another dead Oh, zone. no. If you finish a pile and move within three. Are you within three of the Kurnoth Hunters? Uh, I don't believe so. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, okay. One guy dies. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, we'll lose. That's only then. However, they also have trample underfoot. However, you were able to move away, so there's nobody within an inch for them to trample. Right. Other than that, uh, I believe you do owe me a bravery here. I do. Um, I do. Uh, however, you do have one more command point left. I'm debating on like. It's, I guess I'd rather keep the Galatian veterans for now. Where's that objective? Way back there. Right here. Alarial's there. Uh, yeah, it's not ideal, but it is what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah that's fine. Uh, we're gonna keep them around. Yeah, we're gonna keep them around in case we get a double turn, because I got a plan for them for battle tactic. Nice. I'm gonna inspire them with uh, my... Uh, so end of the turn, oh, end of the... My inspiring leadership goes away. Okay, so right. now scoring. This is the first time we actually get to do... Points! Some scoring. I... Did my battle tactic. Yes, that's, that's two. two points there. I hold the one in my zone for one point. I hold the one in yours in the middle for two? Yes. Two, right? So that's three points there. I hold, I controlled it and hold it with a Galician veteran unit. So that's an additional point. So it's three, four. And I hold, is hold more a point in this one No, too? there's no hold more in this one. So that is a six point turn. Not three plus a bonus plus my battle tactic. So. Not bad at all. Six points. Yep. Okay, I'm okay with that. Good start. I have to I have to try and hit back pretty hard this turn. If I don't, then it's not great for the Soulblade Grave Lords, but hey, that's the circumstances of it all. All right, this is what it looks like. It's gonna be one to two command points for Skari, and he also has the six victory points. So I'm gonna to have to uh, do pretty much exactly what he did, but I'm gonna have a hard time getting that middle objective. For heroic actions, we're gonna go find this tower on our Vampire Lord on Zombie Dragon. We're gonna give that a shot. And then for our battle tactic, well, I think unfortunately the only battle tactic I can go for is against the odds. Uh, pretty much just take this objective, this one here. Uh, I, I was thinking eye for an eye, but nothing's hurt enough to really feel Guarantee good about that. It sort of yeah. thing. Yeah, and the only real things I can go for are uh, Kurnoth Hunters over here. Like, he's pretty good. He can go beat up some Kurnoth Hunters, but I wonder if I can go put pressure on Alariel right now. And, like, she does come... She has the, a new roll where she comes back to life. But you have to roll a d6 and roll a 5, and then she comes roll back a with a 6, the but you get plus 1 for each battle round yeah. that you've already played or whatever. Yeah. So, if you kill her now, it'd be... Battle round three, so I get it'd be on a four plus. She'd come back, yeah, with yeah. eight wounds remaining, with eight wounds remaining, or something so like that. It, it makes Which is neat, but she did go up like quite, almost quite two hundred points, like for, she, and to gain that ability, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and she, and she doesn't have her like healing everything anymore, like. But now that's kind of built into the overgrown features. Yeah. So there's like I'm loving the Sylvaneth. Let's just say it is literally my favorite right now. <laughs> Fair. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go for that. We're just gonna go take this objective here. It should be easy enough. And we're gonna make do with what we have here on the table. Uh, we are gonna go cast spells naturally. Uh, we have spells to cast. So we have a. We're gonna start with Decrepify on that Necromancer there to try and like calm Malarial down a little bit here. We have no bonuses <laughs> to cast because we're able to kill kill that off. We do get an eleven, however. Ooh. So do you see? Do you see your corpse card? Do you see where your corpse card is? Huh? Yes. Huh? It was. Yeah. Where it was? Look, it's now a tree. Rip. It's. <laughs> life again. Life anew. Right. The cycle. I need. A, I need a twelve. Okay. I have no bonuses. Yep. Yeah. If you box car, you do. Oh. Yes! <laughs> I see your box cars. Oh. And I raise you a box car. That was <laughs> minus two damage and minus two excess stacks on the Lariel. Huh. Yeah. This is not the Soul Blight game, but that's okay. Uh, that is. This guy over here has the tome. So. Do you know there's so many people at home, Luca, that have just put like. F in chat for yeah, for that's your, a rough one. That's a, your magic that's a, face. I don't, I don't, I, I didn't expect, I didn't expect this game to go that well because I'm a little. I haven't. This is my third game of Age oh, of Sigmar. Oh, it would have stacked because you rolled it on a nine. Yeah, so you had doubled it. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad I stopped. Yeah, that was it. huge. That was like Ooh. that was massive. Like it's like that would have been a nice chance to get back in the game because that would have lasted until my next. Uh, huh. 
Oh, well. <laughs> We're going to go with our ooh, Fading Vigor over there. Attempt that. Okay. Uh, we probably fail, actually. That unfortunately does fail. Uh, and his second spell, Von Hale's Dance Macabre. Not going to be... Oh, they could fight twice. They're going to leave. They're leaving... I know, I know. They could have fought twice on a oh. double turn if you want to roll a few. Uh, I'll a few throw dice. five more. Uh, I'll throw five more dice because they would have taken that mortal wound. Correct. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Good call. I've got to get this blow up. Oh, that you is take nothing true. there. I'm not going to. You got one move, one, one save. Uh, okay, one damage on Lario. Sure, it matters. Sure. You know, yeah. just take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I might need it. Uh, his second spell, uh, probably going to do. You could do Invigorating Aura to bring more of those zombies back, or you could Mystic Shield or Arcane Bolt. He's probably just going to Arcane Bolt, I guess. Kind of With 15. his tone. Yeah, he's not going to do much else. To... I'll attempt to unbind it. You do. I okay, do. so it didn't matter what I cast there. And then we're going to attempt a Mystic Shield back here okay. on himself. Uh, he'll keep the eight. I'll go ahead with him, who is wholly within six of that, um, or nine of this. Yeah, so I will get my re-roll with that. I see, yes. Yeah, so I need a nine. A nine with re-roll. Oh, Ooh, close. Come on! No. no. So we do get Mystic Shield oh, on no. the Vampire Lords. He's a little more durable. It should be it for the hero phase. We're gonna go on a movement. And uh, let's see what this ends up. We do have to move these guys out of the way, unfortunately, which means we could trigger a redeploy, but whatever. I'll we'll move you here. You're gonna go there. And then, because the Vampire Lord is gonna charge and get stepped on, so he's probably gonna end up fighting last, but we're gonna, hopefully he's durable enough. And if he's not, well, at this point, we're so far into deficit, we're just going to do some wild plays, and if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, well, we were here for a game for a little bit. Vampires, the Blood Knights on this flank are moving up and around through the pass to try and flank. I realize I have the Endless Spell. It's not going to be very effective against Skari's List. It's more effective against, uh, not like this extreme elite, like elite army, but like more like five models to ten model elite armies. It's just uh, pretty good. It's 40 points, so pretty cost effective. It doesn't hurt that I don't get to use it too much here. That's why I'm not casting it, if anyone's curious. And now I have to kind of figure out how to charge. I might keep these guys. I, these guys have to fall back because they're going to be available for a battle tactic for me later on if I get a double turn. Uh, for the vampires, this guy for sure is going to be getting out of here though. I got to figure out where he has to go because I don't want to block the vampire lord. Now, you know what? I'll move these guys next. First, I'll run the Fading Vigor Necromancer. I want him to go kind of in. So he's going to go in this area here. It's the happy nine. Just keeping the Necromancer there. Again, don't want him getting caught by anything charging the front line there. Glacier Veterans holding my objective, a few models near it. That'll give me uh, a couple points at least for that because I took it with Glacier Veterans. And then uh, Battle Tactics, so four point will be at a two point F6. I don't think I'm taking that objective this turn, unfortunately. My command is gonna retreat from the combat there, leaving room for the vampire to move there. Uh, however, we're gonna fall back these zombies. That's the problem because he's gonna redeploy because I need room for the, ah, it's like, it's tough. Because maybe I don't fall back those zombies, but they're gonna, I like the sad zombies there. I suppose before I retreat the zombies there, uh, we're going to do the Riders of Ruin ability on the Blood Knights. They were able to retreat and still act normally on the turn. Uh, however, I did forget about Deathly Invocations on the zombies. There was heroes nearby them, so D3 to come back. Hope I don't think that'll screw me over <laughs> on this. Yeah, like Realistically, they can't fall back because I'm going to block where the zombie dragon's going to be, so this will stop redeploys as well, but it puts them in a precarious position. We will, however, uh, move the the uh, Blood Knights out of combat. They're going to retreat. They're going to move just those out of three of that stuff there, kind of. Cool. Well, I guess I'll I'll redeploy off that. Yeah. Dude, just uh, do I get... I didn't I didn't do a heroic action, did I? You did a finest hour. I did finest hour, yes. I would be doing a... Leadership. Leadership again. Ooh, not, not today. Not today, but I will be using one of my two command points to redeploy the Tree Lord Ancient. He is within three of the zombies still. Oh, is he? So yeah. I can't redeploy him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so now I'm not going to use my CP for that. Yeah, they don't only re redeploying backwards. There's right. not super value in that. So yep. that's it for that movement. We're going to just fly the vampire boop, to right there. He's going to land there. And, uh, we're going to have to just make a charge into the Tree Lord Ancient. And I, I'm trying to take out a Lariel, ideally, but... Uh, because the Ancient's just so tough. <laughs> He's got a cool build. <laughs> yeah. We are going to go into shooting. We are going to go right on to shooting. Uh, we're going to start with the Pestilential Breath right into a Lariel. We have to roll to see if we automatically hit her. If we roll equal to or under the amount of models in the unit. We do. Okay. Auto hit. Nice. It's like a dumb ability that shouldn't like really... It's It should only be targeting a unit of five more models and just automatically hit them. Just make it easier that way. Luckily it worked out for me this time. Does a wound. It does. Uh, this is Rend... Three, I believe. Oh, roll save and we'll double check. We'll see if it matters. It does. Okay, uh, fair. Let's run three and it deals. 
Five damage. Is this re-rollable for his mount trait? We're not going to bother with that. Very though. cool. She's down to ten wounds remaining. Okay. And then uh, we're on to charging. We're going to start charging with these blood knights. Aha. To glory. We're charging <laughs> with them because I expect the vampire uh, lord to be fighting last. So we're just going to hope he's just tough. Yep. Charging at the wall. going to be attacking over it. We're going to try to charge the vampire lord next. Mm-hmm. An H should be good. Yep. We'll charge in there. He has no impact hits or anything like that. Then we'll go with the Blood Knights. Uh, we'll go with the Blood Knights right there first. They will charge eight. That's just gonna go forward in. And I'm gonna roll the other Blood Knights over there. I don't know what they need. Probably a little bit of higher. Six, uh, probably should good. Make it with They'll go in there and charge in on the flank like so. Okay, well, I'll start with Monsters Rampages. Uh, we're gonna try to yell. Okay. We do, L'Oreal. Okay, so yeah. no 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 special things on Ilario. Right. Uh, she does get to stomp on stuff, I think. Correct. I, might, I yeah. might do a stomp or a yell. Let's uh, let's see if my Tree Lord Ancient can make you fight last. He does, he does. which so I expected. Be on the, <laughs> yeah. Big Dragon fights last. Uh, what's the save on the Big Dragon at the moment? Two up with Mystic Shield. It's a two up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just stomp on on the the zombies. And do D6 mortals for four. All right, well, we do have heroes nearby. We save none of those th four zombies die. Okay. Lose those four zombies. Well, we'll lose you and put you back, I suppose. Mm hmm. Boom. We are going to go ahead with these Blood Knights and these Kurnoff Hunters. I like it. I have. Definitely don't want to. Oh, gosh. They're just going to fight and just going to roll dice. <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> I will uh, spend one of my command points to all out defend them, so I'll go down to one command. Schmort, pretty much ignoring my rend. Yep. These are threes to hit. Oh, not bad. A few twos in there. All that attack might have helped. And threes to wound. Ooh, there it Ooh. is. <laughs> That's oh, the blood knights oh. I know and love. Is that, is, that, is that what normally happens, Luke? It is, it is quite care. I, I, they, on paper, they should do well, but they typically don't. Uh, so need threes. And okay. that's four damage. Four damage there. And then we have the 15 horsey attacks. Hooves from the nightmares is dropped. Die. This is also on threes. Ah, uh, these fours. are fours. And then I always found that the horses always did more damage than, than everybody else. Only one this case. One though? Okay. One. Will they kill him? Oh, they do. They <laughs> kill the Colonel Hunter. Okay. And you didn't pile in, so you don't take a mortal wound for that. Right. Yeah, yeah, the charge yeah. is good enough there. Okay, well that's my pick. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and fight with um with them. Kurnoth hunters With there, these right? Kurnoth hunters, uh, they will, um, yeah, well, they're basically going to go ahead and do two into here. Okay. And one into there. Uh, I don't know. All of defense here. It's tough, tough, tough. Cause he's, he wants all that attack, but he's got pack elf. I can issue that to himself. So we're just going to, yeah, we'll, we'll all defense the guys in the back there. The ones that are taking the brunt of the hit. This one? Oh, these ones. Yeah. The, the ones that I get plus one to hit against. They'll order that to okay. themselves using a command point. So into the plus one to hits, these are uh, my uh, champions in there as well. So hitting on twos. Six is doing mortals. Ooh, Ooh no, no six. Okay. And three suit. So these would be. Only rend one normally, so back to my so. regular or save. Rend, is it rend one? I think it's rend one. Ooh, that's, two, that's four damage. I go sneaks three still. Yep. I think I have a hero nearby. I'll reroll that just mm -hmm. in case it matters. It doesn't. No. Army, we'll lose the banner as well. And then we still have more attacks. Just, Just four here. attacks into the back squad. Hitting on threes, though. Okay. Excellent. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and on threes. Yeah. Nice. One to one, four up save. We fail that as well. That's two damage. Two damage, yeah. Uh, we definitely have a hero nearby on that one. And we have There's a banner. banner still. That's two damage. The one wound remaining on this guy. Hey, you're going. Okay. And then uh, my go, we're going to go with all I really have, or, you know, I might as well do the zombies, four zombies hero attack. They are going to attack Alario. Nice. And we uh, mortal wounder. Go. Cool. That's it. She takes a wound. Are they going to pile in? No. But he's going to go ahead and fight into the blood knights. Blood knights that haven't attacked yet. True. So I will all out attack into from the tree lord ancient into your blood knights. So five attacks from the oh not the guardians. <laughs> Sweeping blows. Twos. Good start. Wounding on threes. At B four rend one. Four round four ups. Ooh. That's a, uh, two damage each, so four damage four in total. Damage. I'll just keep a pool of it. Yep. Talon is just twos and twos. It's funny how, like, with the fewer the attacks, uh, that's fine. So just the four damage. Four damage. Yep. Six up. We make one. Three damage. This guy and puts the banner to a one Down to remaining one. wound. Blah. And then uh, I will go ahead with them, I suppose, the ones who just got attacked. Seven attacks on trees. And threes. Oh, that's not bad. Four wounds, friend one. 
goes into those Kuna Hunters. Is that three of them? Uh, well, four. So, uh, four ups. Four These ups. are two damage each? Yes, sir. Ah, only two damage. Two damage. We got the horses, though. The horses, of course. Okay, okay. Let's see if we so can he's get... down to two remaining. Got a pair of hits in there. Yep. And no. Okay. We're on the Kurnoth Hunters. Okay, Scythe Kurnoth Hunters. Let's see what you can do Let's against these... Uh, carve up these Blood Knights. These Blood Knights. Okay, threes to hit your Blood Knights. Mm -hmm. Threes to wound your Blood Knights. At Ren, three. Well, that means I have six up saves. And any well, any six I make is... Is that six damage? It was two. I, thought it was, I only wounded twice, I believe. Oh, really? I thought it was three. Oh, crud, it was only two wounds. It was. Oh, I actually make a save. There you go, just two damage from that. Ward! No. That'll put you down to a remaining wound, I suppose. And now we have a L'Oreal fight. Gross. We got big old hero fight now. Okay, a L'Oreal will fight him with everything. As much as I'd like to kill the zombies, if I don't double turn you, if, sorry, if you don't double turn me and say Ilario lives, even if she doesn't live, I get an easy battle tactic if I keep those zombies alive. Yeah. And if I kill them now, you have a chance to bring them back on a four or a five, and then on my on my on this turn, and then on the next turn too. So I kind of want to keep them around. As weird as that sounds. Yeah. I get uh, that. But let's see if the talon of the dwindling can bring you down. So you have a basically a two up save, right? Yeah, now. he's got three up saves plus two to save. Okay. I do tower. get plus one to hit you though, you because do. you're one of my marks. Hunt targets. Oh, didn't quite well, that's better than the last time. <laughs> Needing fours to wound. That's Excellent. Three. Take three saves. These are all two ups. That's up, right. Up, 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 up. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to pass at least one of those. Ah, uh, because it has a chance to fully remove my belief. Correct on a yeah. six, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so the others is the great antlers on twos. Okay. Okay, yeah, and on that. twos. That's two at rend two. Ah, oh, so three ups. Yeah. Ah, oh, make them both. Nicely right. done. All right, he's a tough boy. Okay. Is, that, is that all their attacks? That's it. That's okay. what she gets. That means the last thing I have, to, I think I just have that uh, Blood Knight up there to attack with. Yep. Uh, he'll just uh, stay there and strike. That is the Castellan, so threes to hit and uh, threes to wound. Okay, there it is. Fair. And then uh, the Nightmare. The horsey horse. That's a wound. Three up. Ah, oh, you're good. It's okay. It's quite good. Okay. It's okay. Cool. Uh, well, you're Vampire Lord. Guess the swing. Everything you do, Alario. Okay, let's do it. He has an extra D3 attacks on his lance for charging. It will be three. Ooh, nice. Seven, That's gonna be seven, seven attacks, attacks on the lance. Eh? Ooh, fancy. Yeah. Oh, all out attack, by the way. <laughs> yep. For his uh, pack alpha ability. And then these are twos to hit. And then these are twos to him because uh, for various reasons, we have Finest Hour and the lance. Oh, no, the lance gets extra rent. Finest Hour, though. So these are five, five I believe, at rent two. And well, Alario only has nine wounds left. These Can are, she spike oh. these? Nope. Ooh, that she, is 16 damage. She dies. Oh, she gets skewered in one hit Boop. by the lance. Dead. Boop. Ah, oh, Look at these just giant super killing monsters we you have. You have killed Alarial. But okay. she might come back. She, uh, and you roll on your hero phase for that. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And she stomps at the end of the fight stomps. phase. Uh, one of these has one wound left. Uh, yep. You no, I, I killed the, their... Oh! Wait, my guys have one wound. Yes, sorry. Yeah, I thought you meant your guys. Yeah. So stomps from them. Please no. Two. Oh, wait. Mortals. It's my turn, right? This is my turn? Yes. They have an end of combat phase heal. I'm going to choose to do that first. Oh. I, I heal one. Ah, crap. So you take two. Ah, he dies still. I got one. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Unfortunately, they didn't kill a model. Uh, they're going to stomp the, the unit that is damaged as well. It's all falling one. apart. Dead. Okay. Oh, it's all perfect. Stop it. They stomp it. Well, I believe that's it. Yes. Okay, so scoring. Uh, so I uh, take control of this objective with Galicia Veterans, so that's two points. My battle tactic is also that, and that's it. I only get the four points right there. Okay, so four to six. Yes. And uh, no, no break tests? Uh, they lost uh, one they model. Lost, no, three. they lost uh, four. Uh, so that's a ten. They're good. Yeah, they're, yep. they're fine. They're A-OK. -okay. okay, and they're yeah. good. Everything's good. Okay, I think... Um, Priority time. It is. Uh, oh, time. this is a big one. This I don't, is a big one. I don't really know what Come I want on. the answer to be okay. here. Come on, I'd rather let's go. It, uh, I will yes. retain priority. I, say, I don't want Please. it in my court. I'd rather you make the decision. Correct. I will retain priority, I'm which gonna, means it is uh, turn three. I'm just going to say that that's the last proving round. There you go. Makes sense. So that, 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 they're all picked. Don't have to worry about it too much. Okay. Um, so start of the hero phase, every single unit will heal. Basically heal. All right. Score is six to four for Skari, though I got the command point on him for now. So I will do eye for an eye as my battle tactic. Because I killed the L'Oreal. <laughs> Correct. Might as well kill one of my things. So yep. The zombies are right there, easy mm -hmm, enough. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, okay, and then actions. Um, heroic action, I will go for a, so I get what, two, yeah, two command points. Hmm, I will go for a finest hour on my tree lord ancient. Not that the, the save modifier helps him at all because he ignores modifiers. Yeah. It's more the, more killy. The, the, the plus one to wound, basically. I cannot do finest hours. I've already done it. I could do it, I guess, on one of my necromancers. However, I'm going to do leadership on my vampire lord. No. Okay. Well, he's, he's not. <laughs> he's more of a fighter, not much of a he leader. He just wants to skewer stuff with his big lots. That's the He's like, oh, is that a big beetle? Duh. <laughs> Dead. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pick my... Yeah, so Eye for an Eye is the one that I was going to pick. Excellent. This is the Proving Ground. Excellent. Yeah, and so then I assume you're going to automatically cast your spell. I'm going to automatically cast my spell. Does uh, he take D3 more wounds? No, nope. nope. that's a two. Good. So I love that Vesperal gem. It's, it's so cool. good. I like it. I like it's this energy so there. good. Yep, we're going to go on a movement. We're going to show you where everything oh, ends Oh, end up. of the hero phase. You know what? I'm going to roll for Larry right now. Let's yes. make it interesting. Well, you have to like choose to do it or not do it? Correct, because it's once per battle at the start, at the end of my hero phase. I can do it. Oh, and if, if, it, if it fails, you. if I fail... Oh, I done. thought it was like you roll every turn. No, really? no, no. It's just yeah. once per battle, and I add the battle round number, and I need a six plus. So it is battle round three, which means I will need a three. I see, I see. That's right. Interesting. I thought she was coming back no matter what. I just no, 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 figured no, no. I'd get rid of her It's because it's, okay. it's a, it's once, and it, you have to kind of make that value. Does it, do I wait till next turn for it to be for on a two, two plus? Up? Yeah. And then I can only really use her, like, in that shooting phase, maybe a charge, and then potentially right. one more turn. Or do I use her now and then potentially use her for turn four and five? So I'm going to, I'm going to make the... I'm gonna try right now. Okay. Let's try bring her in. I appreciate the gamble. I, I or, yeah, I'm gambling. It, I'm also in a position where I feel I can gamble. You're in a you're in a you're, you're in a winning position. You're in an okay. absolute you might as well go for the Will win. Will the Queen of Life arrive? Yes. She does! Oh, she shows up somewhere on the battlefield with eight remaining wounds. Uh, it's the Alario show today. She's gonna show up near boop. that overgrown piece of terrain that Scary's measuring from right now, near this flank of my stuff. Uh, with eight remaining wounds. Uh, and you know what? It's just, it is what it is. Scar, you could have rolled a one or a two. And I could have. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, that's uh, everybody. Wow, that's cool. I love that. That's actually. She made like 200 <laughs> points for that, though. Yeah, yeah. but still, that's. Uh, I guess she's back in the game. It's pretty spicy. Yeah. I love that, actually. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm going to actually bring her down here. Because then if she makes that charge, then she can get back into the game a lot more effective. Lee. Okay. Her 2d6 heals during the hero phase is she comes in, she cannot do the heal and show up in the same turn. Then the rest of movement. Forward. Forward. Let's go. I'm going to, I don't want to read a play. The zombies have to live. So I'm going to have to try to read it. But the zomb I'm, if I could get them out of here, you can kill my other stuff. You got two blood knights to kill all that stuff too, but I'm going to use pack alpha to redeploy them. An extra two. Glorious. Excellent. That's not going to matter at all. Oh, um, on a six. You take mortals for being next to that oh, tree. Oh gosh. No. Nope. Uh, is it for well, what's the range of a three? It's one inch. So oh gosh. Okay, it's it literally just that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, two inches shows. Cool. It's not gonna matter much at all. I was hoping for like a five or something. Mm -hmm. Try and get them out of there. Three away from them. Three away from them. Yeah. Okay. Zombies. So I guess we'll do some shooting. <laughs> yes, sir. We got the, the Doom Tendril Staff. Uh, so the Doom Tendril. Well, actually, let's start with her. She's oh yeah, gonna... she's back in the game. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Can't that's right. That. That just happened. <laughs> she's nice. gonna. Toss a spear at you. Spear at the big guy. No, she's gonna just toss it at this blood knight. That blood knight there. Gotcha. Yeah. So needing twos. Uh, needing twos. Rend two. That's a fail. Uh, it's five damage. Uh, okay. Well, he's probably dead. Roll that three up. Oh, he died. Okay. Skewers. I think that's eye for eye right there. <laughs> yeah, that's. Me. So the doom tendril stuff will shoot into your lord guy. Twos to hit because I hit on twos. And now because of his plus one to wound, is it only in melee? I think it's for everything. But I think it's check. for everything, yeah. I believe it's on twos. Doesn't oh, matter. Doesn't yeah. matter. Minus one. He's got plus one to his save, so back to his three plus. Oh, he does like, fail one of them. Three damage. Okay, he's got the board. There you go. He takes two. Nice. Yeah. So let's go into charges. Uh, these Colonel Hunters. Good enough. Hooray! Hello, lads. Hello. How are you? Would you like to try Lario? Yes. Let's try and get her into that Blood Knight as well. We do have forward to victory if you want it. Uh, yeah, might as well. There's not, not nothing a, else I'm going to use it for. One command point. No. Oh no, okay. not quite she's, yet. She's she's uh, she's she felt that spear. Yeah. Well, she's relatively <laughs> safe. The only the only way I could threaten her is if that vampire lord kills both these Kurnoth hunters and the tree lord ancient, which is not going to happen. Because so. <laughs> they can fall back and charge. They can fall back and charge. Yeah, but, but he cannot. Nope. Okay. Uh, monstrous rampages. Uh, I'll let you pick first. Fair. 
Uh, we are going to stomp. We're just going to do the Kronoth Hunters there. We're going to try and kill that one because yep. uh, making some, uh, getting plus one to hit against that guy doesn't really matter because he's not going to be able to kill. I can't kill him. Uh, there's no point in no command abilities on one of them, so might as well two up stomp. And I need a five up. Oh, at least I get that. So we do kill one of them. Unless Is there's that a word three save. wounds? Three wounds, yep. Yeah. Yep, you got one. Boom. I'm going to go ahead and try and make you fight last. Makes sense. Yep. Uh, oh. That works. Do. Okay. And I'm going to see if my little trees do mortals. Nope. Nope. Oh. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead and fight with them. They're just going to... Is one going to beat up zombies? No. They're just all going to... Oh, yeah. attack zombie. Yep. Uh, well, he is going to all defense himself with his pack alpha. Might as well cool. use it before he dies. <laughs> Probably. Good luck. Okay, hitting on twos because he is one of he is my he chosen, is chosen foe. foe. Another reason why I didn't want to roar. So we have be a pair of four mortal wounds so far, and threes. These are only rend one though. Ah, so I'll get my so two up save. That beast. Because of mystic shield and the all low defense, two ups. Nice. No damage actually. So just, just the, the four mortals. Just the four mortal wounds. He will suffer all four though because they're near they this. They strike and fade. Bye bye. And basically, go, go right back, back near to this to one. where they were. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Essentially, they're just going to stick around to where they were before. Excellent. We are going to go ahead with the Blood Knights over here, I suppose. Cool. Uh, we're just going to... I don't think shifting over is going to help me at all here. Ah, uh, yes, it would help. I'm going to all out defense. That 13 attacks with a Castell in there. No bonus damage, though. No okay. charging. Oh, boys. You guys got to do better. You got to go back to Blood Knight school. Threes to wound. They're still wounded. Uh, that'd be five, five at run one, but you're back to your normal save. Threes. I do three dam uh, two damage, two damage, two damage, and then we so got the horses. Three left. And the horses. Let's go, Kurnoth Hunters. Let's go, horses. Come on, no. We got to get cheer on the horses. These guys have to do three damage. Uh, not with that one wound. Three up, two up, actually. All right, good. good. Okay. And we're on to the Kurnoth Hunters over here. So I believe he would have to go up here, right? This way? Uh, it depends. Yeah, if he's closer to him, he's got to go attack okay, bad boy so there. should be there, and then I should be able to stay within an inch. Equal distance at least and keep going. Go. So yeah, you're going to do one each way? That's right. Which one is the champ? So the champ's this one. You got the... Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the champ into your Blood Knight on twos. Chosen target. Ooh, good. That's two more wounds. And on threes. And it's only on twos because it is the chosen Blood Knight unit. So I... Pass all but one of my saves. So four damage in total. And we got three wounds left on him. He is dead. Okay. Just going down. Into the Vampire Lord, only four of them. Hitting on twos as well, because it is a chosen unit. That'd be what, two mortals and one save at minus one. On to up save and two mortals. Yep. We take both. Yeah, it's the best <laughs> way to get through this uh, this kind of build. These mortal <clears throat> wounds are pretty big counter, which is funny because yeah, this army, the Sylvaneth, didn't typically have mortal wounds back in the, uh, in the day. Uh, maybe maybe I'm just not used to it yet. Maybe they always kind of had mortal wounds. I love my hunters so much. They're the most amazing thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use that unit of scythes. Yeah. Hitting on threes. Oh, they hit better this time. <laughs> Good job, boys. And <laughs> wounding on threes at Ren 3. Oh, rough, rough for those blood knights. Six of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so that makes one save. That's two, 10 damage? 10 damage. Oh boy. Severely ill class. That was Kurnoth. one reroll there. That's two, a, three rerolls. That's all. Oh, I've read three the super banner. Yeah, so that's 10. So uh, eight, eight damage. It still kills two. One, two. Oh, look, they're going to break coherency and die. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, Just kill the banner then. Or kill the champion. <laughs> no. <laughs> One wound remaining. Okay. Uh, I guess my tree lord ancient gets to go now. Yes, sir. Before cool. he gets to fight. Uh, so I will be doing something like so. Like this. <gasps> I'm just gonna stay out of three inches of these. Uh, of these, I don't want them to fight. They can pile there. in. They can pile in six. Oh, they can. Okay. Yeah. If I uh, if I so choose. Eh. Yeah, they can pile in six. I forget that they had that special little rule. That's fine. That's fine. If they do decide to come in and fight me, whatever. Okay. Um, so Mr. Tree Lord Ancient is going to fight you. Five sweeping blows, twos because that's a chosen target, and then twos because it is his finest, finest hour. hour. Nice. Okay. nice. So that mattered. Three at rend one. Two ups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. The Talon, twos and twos. These are rend two. One. Three up. Ah, uh, sad. And then he will fight back. He's put all attacks on the Kurnoth Hunters. Yep, makes sense. Uh, we're going to go with the Death Lance first, because uh, this doesn't get bracketed. He does hit with all of that. Yep. And these are threes to wound, I believe, at rend of one. Oh, very nice. Four, four ups. That's eight damage. So that's eight damage so far. Oh, that's five? 
the snapping maw. Yeah. Uh, it never gets bracketed, so forced to hit there. Okay, well, I'm not surprised. Sure. And then the sword like claws. Six attacks to them because he's a little bit hurt. Uh, we have fours to hit there. And then these are threes to wound with rend of one. So three saves, rend one. Uh, are they multiple damage? Yeah. Okay. The D3. Fours? Only D3 damage. Okay. It does two. Ah, you just kill him. <gasps> Glorious. Nicely done. Look at me go. <laughs> they did choose to pile in, so they're going to suffer a mortal wound. That's which right. They don't even. <laughs> I will get the other one. Good. That's uh, that's it, I guess. Uh, the zombies can pile in a oh, fight, but I'm, I'm not going to bother. There's no point, really. Okay. They are, and then we're going to uh, heal the vampire D3 because he killed stuff. He heals too. He's up to eight. Nice. Eight wounds remaining. Okay, so I killed something. Sorry about that, little blurry. So I did kill something for two points. Easy. That was Hilario coming back from the den, just tossing a spear at someone. That was great. I did lose a whole unit of the hunters, though. So sad. <laughs> because that vampire lord kills That's them. That's the only thing I killed. Yeah. Really? Well, I technically killed the Lariel, but... You did, you did. She's, there she is, though. She's Ha-ha. back. Ha-ha. Um, and then I get another two points for that. And another one point for that. However, I didn't take an objective with Galician Veterans. So, so I don't get the bonus. bonus point. Yeah, true. So I will get three, four, five, bring my total up to 11. Score is currently 11 to 4. We did forget at the end of the combat phase, they're going to step on this guy a little bit. There's two uh, rolls for steps. On fours. Boop, boop. Ooh, I take one. Cool. Two wounds remaining. Boop. Uh, they didn't kill any models, no, so they wouldn't have healed. Yeah. I would have done the steps first and then the, and the heal afterwards. No, it was your turn. You would have done. You would have forced the other way around. So, huzzah! It worked out this way all the same. <laughs> uh, realistically, not a whole lot going on here. I could do this turn. It's the power of the companion owl. Yes, the little owl. <laughs> so what I will do is for my action, I'm gonna try. A, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I got five. Oh, command ability. Hey, we got it on the Vampire Lord. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try it with a True Lord Ancient. Four. He does get it. Nice. Look at that. My, my army has been given speeches galore today. <laughs> it's been fantastic. I am going to go with, for my battle tactic, go with Callous Overlord. I pick one of my, uh, pick a summonable unit on the table. It doesn't have to be in the starting army, which is good to point out. And uh, if they're dead at the end of the turn, then I gain uh, points in my battle tactic easily. So these four zombies are going to be my uh, my callous overlord target. So he's going to be like, you go die. Show that I don't care about my army. <laughs> and uh, this guy has to retreat from this combat because he can't do anything against the tree because uh, it's got that three up save. I could try and get lucky and kill it in one go, but I'm not going to risk it. I'd rather, I'd rather have a... L I could probably get a little bit more value out of him retreating and then... Potentially uh, double turning. Potentially double then, turning. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. But I have no way... To, the, the major downside at this point is I have no way to take the middle, so I'm going to mathematically lose the game. I'm just... Ah, uh, what is the point then? If I just mathematically lose... The point is we want to see what the Vampire Lord will right, get up to. Exactly, yeah. Well, it's essentially my turn is going to be fall back, fall back, and I'm. that's all I'm going to really do. I'm like, ah, if I cast spells... Let's do a priority roll now. If I lose a priority roll, I concede. Because that's all I'm going to do. No, I want you to No, make I don't want to do all my other stuff. I don't, I don't want, want you to make, make the decision, Luca. I pass all my... I don't want to do all my stuff. Wait, but Mystic Shield. He's going to try Mystic Shield himself. Oh, I fail. Okay. <laughs> well, he's got. he's a vampire. He gets to re-roll it. I got it with a nine. Okay, I'm going to try to stop you. Okay. Need a ten. And I'm going to use ah. my re-roll. Ah, you get your own re-roll. Fair. Attack. Ah. No. No, not quite. So okay. he's Mr. Shield. He he's still durable. He's a thick boy. Uh, nice. but, but that's his one spell. Uh, we have Decrepify. Can only really target that guy, so we yep. might as well. Uh -huh. uh, we got with a seven. Yep, no bonuses anymore. Uh, Alario will try and stop you with an eight. No. Okay. Fair. Decrepified. Decrepified. So that's minus one wound to wound with his attacks and minus one damage on all his attacks. Okay. That's the only spell he can do. Uh, and then our Fading Vigor Necromancer will probably just target these Kurnoth Hunters here, I suppose. Uh, so that they lose an attack. Uh, we got it with an eight. Might as well try and stop it if you can. A nine. Ooh, we do. Okay, no fading vigor. Uh, his second power will be uh, Von Hell's Dance Macabre. You got it with a nine. Ooh, gonna try and stop that too. No. Nope. Uh, that'll hit these zombies here. They're gonna be piling and fighting twice Ooh, this turn. fancy. And then uh, that will be it for my magics, I believe. And we are gonna go on to movement, where we have some shenanigans. Mm, yes, shenanigans. We're going to retreat that way. Uh, and then for the rest of my movement, we're going to move the zombies forward. Yeah. They move forward, they're four. Uh, yep. And then we move the necromancers around a little bit. And then we're just going to have the, uh, we're gonna have the skeletons pop up here or else they die. So that's uh, kind of important. I decided we're just going to keep the uh, vampire lord in combat here and try and uh, 
blow through the tree lord with the help of the zombies uh, fighting twice and then we're going to try to then move on from there and go to uh, Lari on a double turn with a zombie and then have the zombies in the middle and then we're going to see where that leads us and sounds like a fantastic plan it's the, probably the best thing i got going for me here and if it works it works that'd be great if it doesn't oh we tried it was, uh, this guy retreated in this direction because like, I, I would like a unit to be able to just uh, threaten to get into your territory later on and not just be dead because he is essentially out of the game for fighting capabilities for me. He can go beat up like uh, Revenants maybe, but he can still die with them easily enough. We're going to go on a shooting with the Pestilential Breath. Yep. On a one, it hits. Uh, otherwise, I have to roll the hit. It hits. <laughs> so it, it hits on a one, rerolling on a three. That's how it mechanically works in this regard. Does it wound? Uh, no. Pop up near the gravesite. Uh, I forgot to wound them on. And then we're going to go on to charging. The only charge I have is we're going to charge the uh, declare a charge with them. They fell back? No, they didn't. They, they should uh, be within three, just there. Oh, because you piled in? Yeah, yeah, because I piled in that way. Oh, uh, okay. You they, just decided not to attack with them. They will retreat. They're oh, gonna, okay. Because gonna... then they can just pile in. They can just pile into them. Pile in, because you want them to die anyway. They right? need to die this turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're going to retreat sense. here so that they're the closest. Yep. So they, so they go 11. Uh, they No, they can't charge, though. Oh, uh, they just pile in. They, they just pile yeah. in. Their six. Yeah, so that means these guys are going to clear a charge. And How about gonna... you? That was their roll. I'll keep the nine, too. It's all good. That works. And that's where they end up with the charge. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do my monstery stuff. I'm going to go Titanic Duel, I suppose. Very cool. I will um, try and make you fight last. Yeah, fair. And I do not. There's three up on them? Yes. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Uh, yikes, that's an interesting one. I think it was zombie. I don't even know who wants to go first on this one. Zombies are... The damage potential on them is weird. I'm just going to go with the zombie dragon first. Can I get through that arm? Not that I have super high rend, I guess, anyway, so I'm just going to hope you fail saves. Can you fail saves for me? Uh... I'm going to try not to. Thank you. Okay, that's You're fair. You're very that's welcome, super, Luca. That's super reasonable, I guess. <laughs> All right, we're going to attack. I'm going to do my best to keep my tanky character tanky. That's <laughs> fair. If that makes sense. I was like wondering if Arcane Bolt would have been more effective for the damage output, but it's so random. The Mystic Shield could be... Wow, well, I guess if I'm just trying to kill you, I should have gone for Bolt. Oh, well. And Double Turn, I definitely should have gone for Bolt. Regardless, we are going to go with our Death Lance attacks. We hit on twos. Mm -hmm. And we wound on threes. So two, three up saves. Threes. These are two damage each. Cool. Down to takes two. Boom. And then uh, we have our Down three 12. mouth attacks from the dragon. Ooh, we hit on threes. Cool. And we wound on threes. You have a three up save. Ah, that's D6 damage. Ooh, very nice. Three. three. Sword like claws. Yeah. Hit on threes, because we're plus one to hit. Because and of the duel, right? Because of the duel. Only one. Three up save. Cool. Oh, he's failing every save. It does three damage. Down to six. Ah, we're not going to get him. Okay. Now if I bolt at him. Ah, oh, screw you, game. <laughs> that was a that, that was a display on my part. That's okay. Uh, that's all I got for him. Okay. Gonna I'm attack? gonna attack your zombie dragon. Guy. Well, he will use pack alpha to all out defense himself. Okay. So I only got four attacks from sweeping blows, hitting on two. Because <gasps> I'm the target. And wounding on three. Oh, vengeance. Rend one. Rend one. Two ups. We're a okay. Good. And then the massive impaling talents. A hit. And on two. No. Okay. Yeah, three. Sorry. Oh, oh okay. yeah. well. All right. Well, that was lackluster. So no. Good. Uh, now the zombies are going to pile in. All right. Well, I guess I'm just going to do these ones. Get them out of the way. All right. These zombies are going to elect to pile Glorious in. Glorious is what it will be. And they take a mortal wound when they pile in. Oh, my goodness gracious. I love zombies. They're the best. They're the weirdest unit around. Three of them attack. Yep. Uh, for Well, that guy's dead. I don't know. Yeah, he dies. Blah. And then three of them attack. Yep. I do a hit. Nice. I do a wound. And you take a wound. Take a damn. All right. Nope. Down to two remaining. I would love just to pull them, but I think that would be cheating. <laughs> oh, oh, they all hit. Not with that roll. My metal. Oh, yes. Oh, no. I have to roll the stupid uh, ward save, too. How many is that? Like 12? Uh, 12. I'm holding within 12. I think I can opt to fail it, but... Boop, boop, boop. Oh, hey. no. I, I helped you get your battle tactic. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Two points Pure for outrage. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to go with these zombies fighting next. They have yep. a six-inch pile in. All right, and they pile in. We totally forgot he was decre he was uh, decrepified. He was decrepified yeah. there, yeah. But luckily, nothing went through. Yeah. Okay, well, we have nine zombies attacking after the pile in here. Okay, well, okay, we Okay, zombies, what you got? Three more wounds. Oh, I don't get to stop. I don't get to... Uh, and no save. I don't get to save against that. And then uh, your, t your turn to pick. Uh, I... I, I, they I, attack with everything. They fight again. I like so it. you got three wounds left? I have three left. Ooh. This is definitely where zombies shine if you have a foot vampire, which I'm strongly considering taking one of the necromancers out for that, but we'll see. And 15 attacking this time. I've got three rows here. So we got one mortal wound. Okay. Two hits. Oh, two more, two wounds, more wounds and two, wounds hits. And two hits. I have one wound remaining. One wound. Two wounds on fours. Because plus one near the uh, vampire. Okay. 
comes to a three up save. Come on, Tree Lord Ancient. Oh my gosh, he uh, dies. You got him. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Interesting. Sad. Well, nothing heals, because uh, I didn't kill anything with him. Okay. However, this only really comes together if I get priority again. So, oh, that's actually not a bad thing though. And they're they're conquerors? They are eternal conquerors, yeah. Okay, so that means you will actually, I believe, take the middle, because you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's thirty to my ten plus six. So twenty-one. So you will take that objective. And that means I do get six points that turn. Uh, yes, you will get okay. six, bringing your total up to ten. So it's ten to eleven. Only You're down still by in one. the game. Only down by one. That, not losing that Tree Lord Ancient was a bit of a shame. All right, and then the and then if I can get priority here, if I could hammer the middle pretty bad and just ignore Alariel. And and you like can get back, back in the game, right and you were game. ready to throw in the towel. That was an obscene amount of things that went perfectly my way. Uh, that's why you should always play. And like, I was, I, you're right, I did. I was uh, a little discouraged <laughs> with a few of the things that happened, but I'm like, oh, whatever, I'll give it a shot. I knew you had it in you, Luca. Priority. Okay. If I don't for, want priority here, turn number four. Okay. 50-50 shot. Let's go. Yes. Ah, good. Perfect for you. Yes, okay. I needed that to happen. All right. Well, because it's obviously not so... It's it's not necessarily that obvious that uh, we have to keep playing. <laughs> I just want to concede. <laughs> I got to do the one thing I wanted to do. My Vampire Lord went and did a bunch of damage. I'm like, all right, cool. That's all I cared about. I'm done. Um, I want to see like, how this would work. and I, I, I'd swap, I, I would take a Vampire on foot instead of a Necromancer. I have had so much fun this game so yeah. far. It's been very close. And I'm so sad because if he lived with one wound, so end of the fight phase, he heals. Then the battle shock, battle phase. shock phase. That's two. Then the hero phase. He goes back to doing the same thing again. Hero yeah. phase. Then the movement phase. Then the charge phase. So he would have healed. Seven. He would have healed six before six. you got to fight him. So again. back up the seven wounds again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that, 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 see, that that is cool. I like the synergy there. It's, yeah, not, it's just a tree. Neat. You just you yeah. just got him. Well, because he fills the exact same role I want my Vangorian Lord to fill. Like yep. maybe he goes somewhere kind of impactful, leads from the front, and then yep. just ideally doesn't die and heals a crap ton. Uh, okay. And you know what's awesome? Neither one of us got to show that off today. No, <laughs> no, they just totally died instantly. Yeah. But then again, he failed like all of the saves he needed to make. He uh, literally did. Uh, yeah, watch what happened to my Vigori Lord. He failed yeah. to hit three of saves yeah. against the five damage attacks. Okay, let's do this. Let's try to oh. get rid of some of these. Uh, turn, yeah, your turn three. Uh, yeah, turn, th turn four. Four, turn three. four, yeah. Great, yes. yeah. Showing off the score it is damn close here. I do have the command point lead, but I do not have the point lead as we only have two battle rounds left. However, I did forget about this. So that zombie unit that died could come back to life at the end of my battle shock phase on a five up, and I get plus one to roll for every enemy unit that died that turn. The tree mm -hmm. ancient. Correct. So on a four. No, no, no. zombies. But I get to roll at the end of Scar's turn. On a six, I do damage them. No. Fair. They're good. Probably shouldn't have put them near an inch of that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do out muscle. Ooh. Uh no, I can't do out muscle. I'm going to do gaining momentum, so I get to pick an enemy unit on the battlefield, I have to kill it, and I have to control more objectives than you at the end of my turn. Okay, well, that's reasonable. There's only three objectives, so easy. Uh, yep, yeah, so now I will pick the zombies. So I will try to kill them, out muscle, and try and get rid of them. Reasonable. I like that. Heroic action, so I'm going to do a heroic recovery with Alariel. She does, and we'll heal. A wound, so she's back up, she's up to nine now. She has to heal 2d6, might as well do the 2d6 now Correct. as well. Every hero phase, she heals 2d6. And goes up four more. She's up to 11 now. Ooh, not full health, though. No, no, no. She's up to 13 now. Yes. I'm going to attempt a recovery on the Vampire Lord as well. Like he it. will pass. Nice. And he'll gain one. He's at nine. Okay. Excellent. He's better than eight. He does have his Mystic Shield up, though. Yes, he does. Spells! Spells! <laughs> For sure we're going to do spells. Spells, Tim! Uh, okay, so first things first. I'm going to go ahead and attempt to cast... Uh, verdant uh, metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Now that's a 16 inch range. It should be good. Not yep. within 12 to the other one. So just meta metamorphosis. That's a I six. think it. No, it needs a seven. So I'm going to use my one reroll on this. Oh. Oh, not today. So the next one will be a mystic shield. <gasps> shield. On her. Goes off on a seven. Try and stop that. Yep. You need. Nope, that's a four. Not today. Okay. And then the last one. You know what? I'm going to try and do throne of bites. Ah, oh, lots of healing. I, I see. need a nine. No, Ooh, not okay. quite. Not. Now we move. Okay. Buzz, 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 buzz. Yeah, you just move them apart. We, we meant for that to have room for everything to play there. Yeah. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, look at that. I'm just going to move over with a three. Would you like to redeploy it? 
Or outside of three. Not within three. Just outside of three. There you go. I would love to redeploy there, but I'm worried about what they're gonna do. <laughs> That's the problem. That's really, what, yeah. I'm really hoping that they just get to go under the radar and not do anything. I'm going to go ahead and not redeploy off any of that. All right, awesome. Um, boom. Uh, they will just move up and get within three here. Yep. Boop. Jawson. That one I'll try to redeploy off of, I guess, because I'm not too sure what they're going to do. And this one might be kind of big for me if I can make the battle attack. Even though Alario will probably kill them, she could whiff it, I guess, somehow. Mm -hmm. We'll redeploy. I'll reroll that. Six. Nice. That'll be from Pack Alpha. There you go. Just all around. I don't know if that's the right idea or not, but it's the idea I'm going with. All right. Uh, that is it for my redeploy. And then you get to move more. Mm. So I was worried about them hunting him down. Or, but I figured they might just move over here. So I don't know. Oh, I can't move over that wall. They can run over it. Yeah, but I want to charge. Oh, fair. Okay. So, so if anything, we'll just give myself some options here. No, let's go back. Yeah, both ways. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, let's go. If I roll, if I roll low, I can go that way. If I roll high, I, actually, let's go touch that and then an inch away there. Gotcha. Just give me some options. Yeah. So minus four in that direction, but then that's a relatively easy charge over here. Uh, and I guess the option is, if I didn't redeploy there, you could have just kept them exact. They weren't in a bad spot, so they didn't have to move at all. So I was kind of forced to redeploy off that. Make sure all of these are just wholly within six. And there'd be 30 so. models on the objective, because they are expert colors. They definitely are. And shooting time. Okay, let's do some shooting. One um, fancy spear. I know what I'm going to do. I kind of, I'm just going to shoot. I think I'm going to shoot my spear. Uh, yeah, at, at the zombies. Trying to pale right through them? Yeah. yeah fair. Does Two. it hit? It does. And twos. Ooh, relentless. Just six damage. Six damage. Uh, she, yeah, she's not bright. Oh, she's full health. Yeah, of course. That's right. Yeah. She's it's, a la it's the queen of life. She loves life. No banners, so five die. Cool. Who wants to die, though? These five here will die. Right there. Nah, I can't do that because of the coherency issues. Uh, oh, gosh, a mess now. Look at me go. Look at me making a mess everywhere, guys. <laughs> sure. Actually, no, they'd be coherent, even if they're in a chain link, so they're fine. Yeah, okay, there we go, done, easy. You just go back up there, yeah. these five die. Uh, charging? Yeah, of the charging, of the fighting. Uh, so let's start with the the uh, hunters. Well, that's where my rear ball's gonna go. Forward to victory! I definitely need them to try. That's a seven, they're in there, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Boom. Yeah, get it, get in there, nice. Okay, now we'll charge with the sides. A four. No, that won't make it with That's anything. Nowhere. And then the lady with the big. Oh, nine. Yep, she's in a twin. With the big, uh, the big uh, beetle of death. Mm. And draw, just charge it in. Okay. Uh, you, get, you want to do your monster's rampage? Why don't we do mine? Uh, yeah, you can do yours first. I will. I'm gonna roar. She gets plus one to hit me, the uh, zombie dragon, because I'm a main target. But you want to kill the zombies off, and they don't get plus one to hit the zombies. We can all out attack them. I'm just gonna roar, and if I okay, now I gotta pick. Zombies are done no matter what. So if I pick one unit, no plus one to hit. We're gonna go for Alariel. No, we're gonna roar at her so she can't issue or receive command abilities. That makes sense. She's just gonna stomp on the little the little zombies. D6, because a big unit. Five of them. Five of them, she got the, the, the beetles. D6, because got... they have one wound, not because they're a big Oh, unit. I see, okay. Yeah. Uh, that means four die. Cool. Uh, that's all, one, two, three, four die from over there. Alarial's gonna go first. She's gonna just fight into your zombies. Alrighty. Okay, I'm, I'm actually gonna fight with the swords first, because if you kill, um, those ones that are close by. I don't know if I can get all three of them. So I'm gonna have to send one into into your zombie dragon. He will, although defends himself. Yeah. Might as well. I'll go down to two command points because pack alpha was already used. Okay. I will I will use plus uh plus one to hit on them. I will uh, attack them. Ah, uh, to into the zombies mostly. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Zero command points for you. Okay, so into the zombies. I need twos to hit the zombies. Alright, not bad. Okay. Showed up. There's two mortals. And then threes to do some damage to zombies. Hmm. So that'd be nine, 10, 11. Yes. That's 11 damage. Yep. I'm going to ward one of them. There's one zombie left. Amazing. I guess I'll make it that zombie over here. Yep. Uh -huh. And then four attacks into your zombie dragon. And threes to wound. 
You have two of saves. Yep. Oh, he does two damage. damage. Ward. Neither. He's got seven remaining. Nice. Well, unfortunately, because of the position of that zombie, I can't pile in to protect it. Uh, I would love to just go pile into Alario, but she forgot. Probably has the reach to attack him anyways. So uh, these attacks are going to go into. I don't know. I don't know. I'd love to start working on Alario because I do go next, but. I'll put everything in the Kurnoth Hunters, I suppose. Yeah. Why not? So we'll go land. Yeah, everything in the Kurnoth Hunters. Choppy, choppy. Choppy, chop. Lance first on trees. And because um, he already he defensed. Oof, whiff, Ooh. whiff. Okay. We got the Melt Attack. Ooh, two of them hit. Nice. Two of them wound. I believe it's Ren 2. Roll now, double check. Don't roll five fives. Seven. Aha, didn't matter. So uh, that's going to be five damage. Cool. Just one dies. And then we have the Sword Light Claws. Five attacks with the Sword Light Claws. Oh wait, he's at, he's missing five wounds. No, he's still one more attack. He's seven wounds. He's missing. He's only got twelve. Oh, fine. Uh, I'll take that one away. It was enough attacks there. Uh, one at run one. Cool. Four up on them. Good. good. Just kills the one. Oh. Yep, just the one dies. Uh, Lario yeah. can go. Alario. Oh. oh, that's not gonna do anything. Right. Same same reason I couldn't pile yeah. in actually. Yeah. I was. Uh, huh. I can't move through the train there. All right. So that's uh, that's a wash. That's a shame. Um. Yo, sorry, yeah, we, we kind of caught a little bit off camera. You went to go move her, but then she was kind of stuck on both the bases and train. Like, my guy couldn't pile in. I just realized that now. Yep. So the zombie will... So I should have killed him instead. You could, you, could, you could literally fix that right now. It's no big deal. I, there's nothing I could do to fix it on my side. Because if I pulled differently, she still would have attacked. Uh, and then... Nope. Two-inch reach, though. You can nope. shoot. No, she's got one. Everything's only one-inch reach on her. Yeah. Okay, well, then that sucks. Yep. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, fight your dragon guy. No! <laughs> okay, Hilario. Three, uh, four, two to hit the dragon with the talon and nothing. Wow. And Is it threes to wound? Four to wound. Oh, okay, shit, yeah. And then twos to hit and twos to wound with the talon. The gray island is minus two on these. These are three ups because of Mystic Shield and all the defense. Mm -hmm. Ooh, tanks him with the okay. shield. Okay, that's it. Uh, okay, well, end of the combat. Uh, you get the you get the stomp on me. No, uh, am I still within two four ups? Oh. Two mortals. I'll take one. Nice. Six remaining, and then I would heal D three because I killed one model. The hunger. One. You back up to seven. Okay. Cool. Uh, well, other than that, considering I failed in my battle tactic, which is a pain in the butt, I do get one, two, three, four because I did hold it so i get four points yeah because you you took it this turn right i did exactly. yeah because i had the last turn yeah, yeah but cool. i did fail my battle tactic which is a bit of a shame that's a big deal yeah i have to inspire that zombie there with the command point or else you do get your battle tactics yeah so i'll use one of my command points for inspire unfortunately and then uh at the end of the turn on a five up i get my zombies mm -hmm. in the game i do they do ten so, of them show back up uh, that's from the if everyone's curious that's from the 20-man <clears throat> squad that got beat it up earlier there's 10 zombies showing up near that grave site uh, nine away from a L'Oreal there. And then, uh, that is, uh, that's it for the turn. Scoring, you do get your four points, then we're on to my turn four. Well, the score is 15 to 10 for the Sylvaneth. My battle tactic's gonna be this one's mine, the vampire will call it. So my general has to kill a unit. I'm gonna try and kill those Kurnoth hunters off. Ooh, that's pretty fancy. It's the, the, I, there's, or the Soulblight one where he, I, like, the Soulblight one's a little bit easier, but I wanna try and hold that off for, like, another turn. Maybe, maybe. Uh, it's not ideal, though. Okay, well, we are going to go on to that, and then our action will be uh, leadership, I guess. We will feel that. I will also do a leadership. No. All right. No. Not today. She's uh, busy fighting for the second time into this giant <laughs> vampire lord. <laughs> I know, I know. Jeez, okay. Uh, spell casting, spell casting. Let's start with uh, the vampire lord is going to cast uh, his uh, built-in, or his spell from the lore, uh, the yep. Amaranthian orb. He's going to sh shoot a little, a little purple sun. Uh, we got it with a seven. So it's like a, I draw a little line, and on a two up they take D3 mortal wounds, and everything else is too far away to hit. I think it's nine. Uh, so it should just be the hunters? It, it'll only be those Kurnoth hunters. Um, yeah, that's fine. Don't you have three? How many? How many? I only have. Uh, four, I have four, yeah, four spell casts. Yeah, yeah. So have, you can you can take that one. Ideal. Nope. It, you dodge it. I hate that. Story. Excellent. <laughs> I hate the Lord of the Vampires. Okay. Uh, we are gonna go. Oh, Arcane Bolt would have been better. I'm so dumb. Oh no, because I, I could have. It could have gone it twice. That's why I did. It could have gone it twice. That's right. Okay. Sorry, guys. Uh, Soul Black like Grave Lord super special casting powers of doom. Locus of Shaish. Yeah. Then uh, we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, 
Uh, move on to our Decrepify on Alario. Yep. That's a fail. That's oh, actually a miscast. That's, yeah, he takes two, one, one mortal wound, which yep. I think they're too far away. He'll just take it. He's got four wounds left. And then we're going on to Fading Vigor 1. Okay. Uh, for less attacks. Less attacks. And he can cast two. He can cast two. Might not even cast Fading Vigor. What he will do is Mystic Shield. Yep. Which he gets. It needs a five or six. Five on Mystic Shield. Okay. I will definitely, definitely. attempt to stop that one. <sighs> Does not. I was really hoping. I don't get a, and I'm not wholly within nine inches of any overgrain unless that forest. Nope. Because she's so big. She's a large base, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we get Mystic Shield off, and then his second spell, Von Hells is tempting. It's very tempting. Uh, Fading Vigor could be kind of good too. Oh, gross. He could also just Arcane Bolt, I guess, but I think we're going to get more, weirdly enough, more damage out of Arcane Bolt. Oh, I forgot Death and Invocation. I had to heal D3 wounds to the zombies there, and then... Uh, one comes back? One comes back. Oh, I forgot. It might take a mortal wound. No, D3 on or a six. On a six. Unless I have a caster within six, and then it's on a four plus. But now it's not if I have a caster within six of any forest, it's of that specific forest. There we go. Dropping that guy there, and then I guess we could do Deathly Invocation and bring back three more zombies. I don't think that's going to do much for me. I don't want those zombies to die so they could threaten that back area over there. So I am not going to bother invigorating them. I'm just going to cast Fading Vigor. Oh, we got with the big version. Nice. No, that'll hit both. Today. That'll hit the Kurnoff Hunters and Alario. Just Very to kind of. Yeah, yeah, minus one attack, minus one attack. Yeah, to both of them. Nice. Okay, and then uh, we're done. We're on to uh, movement, I believe. Yes. We're going to start with this guy. He's going to just at the double himself and uh, run. <laughs> he is not holy with an 18, so that will cost me a command point. And he's going to go. Boop, to there the he goes. Hey. Fast little horsey. Just to try and get some impact later on, on turn five, if that even matters. Yep. We're going to retreat these zombies. We're going to retreat that direction so that they can pile in towards enemies yep. and get themselves. Ideally, they're going to pile in towards them and get themselves murdered uh, by that one Kurnoff Hunter, who will hopefully on his own can kill two zombies. And then... Uh, they do have range, though. So... Uh, I don't think I'll be able to pile into range of the second guy, though. Because I can only go up to the I'll wall. But I'll pile into you. True. I figured you wouldn't want to kill me. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Why, why wouldn't I? Just, just get rid of them. <laughs> just get them out of you. Yeah, true. Uh, I want them dead, and so does Scar. So we are going to go keep the Vampire Lord in combat, because he's kind of screwed now. I mean, I could go for, like... The problem is I committed that battle tactic. The only other battle tactic I could have done is him healing two, three wounds by killing something. Or I could have gone, like, fall back, burn my battle attack, and hope for a double turn to get that, but then Scar's going to have last turn anyway, so I was like, I'm kind of screwed no matter what. We're going to see what this game looks like after a little bit, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. We are going to well, keep Well, as we learned last turn... I know. Well, it would have... Now I now I think I got nothing, <laughs> but we're not... Now, actually, I know I got nothing. We're going to try all the yeah. same. So we are just going to... We're going to screen these guys out a little bit more so that the they can't do, like, a last turn, like, boop, over here for your grand strategy. I don't want that to be a thing. Run these skeletons. Uh, six. Nice. nice. Like that, screening out this area a little bit and staying away from the Kurnoth Hunters somewhat and staying near the gravesite because I do have to try to control them in the middle one. This is going to be a hot mess, so it's not probably going to work out that well. We're going to have those zombies run. Extra three. And they will go there. Yep. And then for the Necromancers who are a little bit better in combat, I'm not going to really risk it. I'm not too sure what they're going to be doing. They're going to hang out back here. What did Mr. Oh, Mr. Decrepify whipped it? Double one did. In fact, he whipped it real good. All right, we're going to back up a little bit there. Uh, these zombies there, they retreated. That guy ran over there, so we're going to shoot him. We're going to okay. have the pestilential breath into them. I so will... What's the render again? It's rend three. Okay, so I will all out defense here. All right, good, good call. Because you're going to yell at me anyway, so... Yeah, true. <laughs> or stomp me now that I've, you know, done that, so... Uh, so I, I hit you on a one or two? Yep. There it is, okay. Nice. Just, does it wound? Yes, rend cool. of three, but you have a three up save right now, or two up even. It's good. You should be good, nice. Yep. Oh, gross. Okay, we're on to charging, which I don't have any. It's a round of uh, our stompy stomps. Yep. I am going to stomp on a two up, yep. And it's going to deal two mortal two. wounds. So I'm down to three remaining on that one, and I will titanic duel you. Try and take him down, yeah. Yeah. Gross, hope he doesn't die. He probably might die to Alario though. Because all the defense is huge. Uh, so I'm going to fight first. I think I kind of have to all the defense because I, I still need him to be a player in this game somewhat. Uh, but we're just going to hopefully roll well and take out those guys there and not roll twos. Let's not roll twos, baby! <laughs> let's, uh, let's do his uh, lance attacks into okay. them. Okay, no twos. Mm -hmm. Love it. Mm -hmm. And three wounds at rend of one. Okay, so these are fours. 
That's so four damage. Four, so one goes down, one has four wounds remaining. And then we have the zombie dragon attacks. Mm -hmm. oh, we got a three there, that would have mattered. Two wounds at rend two, I believe. Okay, fives. Ooh, that's, that's yeah, that's uh, eight damage. You, you got That's uh, your battle tactic. We got our battle tactic. Excellent. And then Alar oh, no. Okay, Alariel gets to fight now. Yes, sir. Uh, so, let's, she has minus one attack, though, on both of her attacks. Ah, uh, yes. But it is to actually yell at me instead. Yeah, I would have yelled not to tank duel because it literally ah, doesn't matter yeah. against you. So it doesn't matter if I have that command point or not. All Correct. good. Uh, hitting, on, hitting on twos. The Talon, I'll hit. And wounding on fours. Just one. one. That's all. I ran two up. Okay. The Great Antlers hitting on twos. It's only three attacks? Well, at minus one attack, right? Oh, yes. For the fading, fading bigger, bigger, whatever it is. Twos. That's three at rend two. So four ups here. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, the is. roar stopped it. Test 10, ten damage. <laughs> oh, the roar got him. Yeah, Can't do anything about that. So First good. half, five's got two wounds left. Dead. You got oh him. Oh my gosh. Oh. Good job, Lariel Queen. Oof. And with that. Yeah, but you do but you do get your battle tactic. I do. I got my battle tactic and I scored this one victory point for three points. But with all I have left on the table, I can now thankfully concede. There you go. Huzzah! That's it. <laughs> and paired with this game, in the Mini War Gaming Vault, we have more Age of Sigmar content. Because every time we upload one to YouTube, we put another one in the vault. And if you want access to it, all you have to do is click on the link down below. And you can get yourself a seven-day free trial where you'll be able to check it out, as well as the rest of our Age of Sigmar content and the many, 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 many other war games that we do paired with it, including narrative campaigns and many other things. Many, 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 many. You get the idea. Lots of, lots of content to go in there and the vault members are what support us and allow us to continue producing and making all the content that you know and love anyways i'll let you get back to your day and enjoy that post game let's take a look at the final score here before we go on to turn five scar i'd be able to get like maybe a point if i'm lucky maybe one well, uh, let's roll to see if with the initiative would... okay so just this is for hypotheticals okay you so got the I initiative would, as well yeah, yeah so i would more than likely um I don't know if you would have wanted to try and kill them anyway, but anyway. Oh, they would have gone to die, yeah. yeah. Um, essentially, I would have probably done, uh, I don't know, control and objective that's... No, I would have gone for put two two units into your territory. Yeah, that's um, an easy one. And then I would have basically had them in here and then them in there or Ilarial, and that would have given me my battle tactic. And then I would have gotten another... Uh, three, three more points. more points. For there. five points, and I can only really get one on my turn. And then I would have two potentially three units in your territory to your maybe two units. Yep, and then you stop um, my grand strategy. Because I'd have that one and more than likely this one unless your zombies came and took that away. Right. But that would be a four point swing if you held it at the end there. Yeah, too. that would have been cool, yeah. It's like, it's like, even though it's been a brutal game, the points have been quite nice, but uh, I love my Sylvaneth so much. They yep. are so fun. Well, this was this was a very elite build. It really showed where there was a few key moments, and if those, like, a, it's like maybe there's like three die rolls I can count in this mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. If they didn't go in your favor, mm -hmm. it could have easily been a Soul Blade win, too. Yeah. Which I love. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, the Tree Lord <clears throat> going down actually kept you in the game. That was, that, that's the only thing that kept me in the game, which I, sure, I'm thankful for, That would, but I only if I got the double turn to follow. So it was like, it was like 15 things needed to happen in a row for it to work out. And I hate it when the 14 happened and the fifth one, 15th one fails. I'm like, just yeah. fail early on so I can call it. I don't want to like, um, I don't want this build up. And then you losing your durable character on that second double yeah, turn. Yeah, the peril one. See, that, that, those are, that's one of the three rolls. It was like a Lario coming back on a three up, which is whatever, that's likely. Yep. Could have failed. Uh, if I didn't roll those pair of ones on his save, and if you didn't stop that Decrepify. Yep. Because that Decrepify would have made Alario not do enough damage to kill him also. Yep. If he lived, I could have held the middle for quite a while with what I had going on there. Because that's the idea of the list. They just kind of hold in the middle of the Blood Knights. Especially in this mission where there's only there are only three objectives and one yeah, of them is in the middle. right in the middle. And then the Vampire Lord would have had the mobility just to bloop, bloop, or... And then go and bloop, take bloop, that. And then eventually push there and you would have had to pull back with Alario. And yep. then like that vamp... And then that's like a whatever fight. That's like a whoever takes that one, yeah. Yep. Then, but then that... Unless you charge me. In which case you're Vampire Lord. <laughs> It's <laughs> murderous. <laughs> There's that. Yeah. Chances are you have the higher mobility, the, the falling back and all that. You probably would have got the charge. But then that means you would have abandoned the middle, and I would have been able to push a little bit on the middle. I I loved the pace of this game. Like I said, those few key rolls went heavily uh, went in the Sylvaness favor. I got a little bit. I clawed my way back a little bit, but not quite enough. Not oh, quite enough. enough. And I, that one zombie staying alive to like deny me my two points. I was like, no. <laughs> it's always if it was zombie. like even closer of a game. Like, oh, your vampire though didn't die. I, that like. 
that one zombie not me, not getting those two points could have been the difference. Could have been could have been everything. Game. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. The oh man, uh, looking at like ways to change up the list a little bit. I actually don't mind it how it is. The twenty man zombie bricks I like a lot. I do I do want to give them a little bit more utility by having a vampire in the list. The two options I have is I drop a necromancer for a vampire, and he's uh, I think fifteen or twenty five more points, which means I have to lose the endless spell. And I would have like a flaming skull instead, yep. which is not bad. That's fine. I, that's probably the course I would go. Uh, but I like having to crepify on the one necromancer yep. uh, to like if someone brings like you know say Alario or Archeon or whoever just to really like yeah, hammer or them. Or a Glot King. A Glot exactly. Kin, the King. Glot, the Glot King. Yeah. The big guy. The big guy. The trio. The, the brothers. Yeah. 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 Something like that. Yeah, it really does help, especially when you can like. It double casts, or yeah. like it did that. Or, you know? yeah, that that's, if you could double cast that on a big hero, that feels so bad for that hero. And minus two to wound, they'll cast one, but minus two damage on all your attacks. Everything you do is like one damage, pretty much. Yep. Or D6 minus two. Uh, or the other option is I drop the third Blood Knight unit and just keep two in the Bounty Hunters and then add the Vampire and drop the Necromancer and get like two Felbats to have more quick units. I like units. the Felbats. I love Felbats, yeah. I think having little units for utility is great. Um, in your list, like having the big blocks was good. I feel like having that screen, the Felbats would be like a screen. Yes. They'd allow you to go do like some faster stuff. I've, I've like really missed them this game. Block, you yeah. know, that sort of thing. This is the first. This is the first list I've ran without them, and I really, I really felt that. Did they move yeah. on fourteen? Or whatever? They're move fourteen yeah. at the double for twenty. Take a full back and yeah. charge. They're great for that. There's that one battle attack. You get two units in your opponent's territory. Just yep. you put them on the flanks to get there. That's two battle points. Yep. You can screen with them if you want to. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's great. I, I don't think you need more than the two Blood Knights. I, think I don't think so. that's what I'm thinking yeah. too. Yeah, it was. I like the three because I'm like, ah, triple bounty hunter, whatever. But two is good enough. The idea is they're supposed to hang out with the Vangorian Lord. They have a three up save, ignoring modifiers. They're pretty tanky. It's good. Yeah, and by the time they're finally down, your 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 zombies are ready to get in. Then I have the vampire to give the zombies the extra attacks to re, uh, to utilize those extra command abilities. Can't wait for the rematch, Luca. It's yeah. gonna be fun. I think um, I think that's what I'll do. I think in terms of the Sylvaneth list, uh, I finally ran. The Ever Queen, and you know what? Her like she went up a lot in points, but her ability to come back to life actually, <laughs> really showed. <laughs> really showed. Yeah, actually, the noise was great. It blew my mind when you said it was only once per game. I'm like, oh, wait, mm-hmm. it's a gamble. You know, like cause I thought it was you just roll every turn, and if she misses it, when like if she dies early, whatever. No, no, no big deal. you have to decide whether or not you want to try huh. to bring her in. So I think the turn three is the gamble. You would, if she dies like turn one, you don't really bring her back turn two. Right. You either lose her on turn two and then bring her back on battle round three. Yeah. Or it'd be really rare to lose you on turn wait one. till battle round four yeah. to then almost guarantee it and yeah. then and then you can use her on turn five. But at least here I had like one more turn to use yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Which was that was very useful. Well it really matter here because not only did she kill my vampire lord, even if she didn't kill him, she tied him up. Because if she didn't yeah. exist right now, he would have been free. I could have I wouldn't have gotten the double turn, but if I did have the double turn, Bam, there's like yep. a 14 battle attacks I could do. And then you stop with those my games. grand strategy, and then yeah. like there's so much stuff that you would have just exactly, you would have yeah. just literally gone away with it. If she wasn't right there, she exactly, hadn't yeah. come back, I think I lose this game. That like, was that is literally it hinges on the But that, that's another a great example of lead armies. If they if they hit their abilities, they hit their abilities, if they don't, yeah. that's uh I really like part. your list though. That little combo of like um, I'm glad I killed him because I hadn't clued into that code. The math, and yeah. The math of... It's the, a weird the, math, yeah. The, the negative modifiers plus him plus like Mystic Shield. So I'm glad I I stopped Mystic Shield, first of all. And secondly, yep. I got lucky with yep. a couple of those saves. I was I was, I was was like, for a while while you were doing your turn, I was humming and hawing about like finest hour on him so heavily. But I, looking at all the rolls, not a single one of them mattered because he just yeah. died on the double ones and then the spear went through. And I, I rolled like a, a two. I rolled something, I think it was like another one. I'm like, okay, well, finest hour didn't matter. But if I had Mystic Shielded, I definitely would have fine us out because I would have kept them at a two up the entire time no matter what. I like that combo though. That's yeah. a pretty spicy combo. It's pretty good. My yeah. Tree Lord though. We didn't get to see how cool. Well, we, neither one of us got to see our thing, really. <laughs> it was like, yeah. yes, we made, and it's funny because we didn't talk about it. Not at all. We both, we both yeah. made like these really kind of durable characters the, separately. The second you said that, I'm like, that's like the exact same thing that <laughs> my guy does. The same concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Because like, I, I like him in the list because. If he if my zombie dragon kills something or he kills something, he can spend a command point. And then they heal a further D six wound. So it just really keeps that zombie dragon way up there. Oh. It's hard enough to kill. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I I'm glad I kept you. He's an important piece of the. It's weird because he's an important piece of the puzzle, but he's got to be at the front. Yeah. Yeah. Which uh, but then he goes crazy and he advances and charges. And yeah. Pretty yeah. neat though. Yeah, exactly. I like that. And I will say, Kurnoth hunters for the win. I tried the swords today to get the mortals. And the mortals were big. It was okay. Well, you know, it's, it's it great against my list. The mortal wounds are great against my list. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know what you were bringing, and yeah. I haven't used them yet. 
So, but I, of course, reverted to bringing in some size because... I, it's, it's hard to argue against the size. They're so good. That Ren 3 might as well be mortal wounds in so many circumstances. Right. right? Unless yeah. you're playing, like, uh, Night Haunt. Y you know, like... You're right. Yeah, you're right? right. Yeah, yeah. Unless you're playing Night Haunt, in which case it's literally useless. Strictly worse. Like, right. horrible. Horrible option. Right. They got better reach, too, which is nice. They do. But uh, they, lose, they lose an attack and they don't do mortal wounds like the swords deal. Which is interesting. And I thought the swords were interesting too, because they don't say like two mortal wounds equal to the damage characteristic, even though it's a brand new book. It's just two mortal wounds. Because so I guess they had the idea, I don't know if they had the bounty hunter idea there, built there in. There are a few units that have that mechanic built in, which yeah. is do this many mortal wounds and the attack sequence ends. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you're attacking a bounty. Like in that case, with that one zombie surviving, me not rolling any sixes was better than me rolling that six. Yes. Yeah. Right. Because, because it, was... it would have been an extra damage in there, yeah. which more than likely would have killed that last zombie. Right. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, folks, that's it for this game. It was a really intense game. There was a couple of key moments I could have swung back and forth out of the way, and it was a good, solid Sylvan of Victory in the end there. And we got to see the Ever Queen on the table. That's right. Look, it's a beetle. It's a beetle. And look at the guitar. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> that's not the right <laughs> Happy morning, everybody.